Here we go. Third time's the charm, everybody. 624. Good morning. Welcome to Good Times. DJ Mo Twister. Boss Hulk. Are you, are you serious? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I hear, I hear it. No, he was signaling on the Zoom. Oh, like, there's I hate nothing. you. Oh, oh an actor. Gosh. Jesus. Well, thank you. So I've been told. Uh, no, oh, I'm terrible. Know. I know welcome, your body welcome, of welcome work. Show, <laughs> what is today? Uh, today's a Wednesday, 624. Sorry about the technical problems. They exist. They happen. They happen way too often. I was um, kind of even reminiscing, Sam, about the old days when oh, yeah. you were on the radio show. It takes us right back, doesn't it? Man, I must have been a terrible person to work with. Or maybe my standards were high and they've come down and I just wanted to bring them back up. But man, I just think it's so angry in moments like this. I have to say, you handled it quite differently today. No, I'm pissed. Trust me, I'm pissed. But it's just a different <laughs> level of like expression of, of pissed. Because I always feel like when it comes to the technical problems, especially on a live show, and, and, and Kay, you know this, you're, you're, you work with many live shows, that I always feel like we should have been prepared for this hours before the three, two, one action. And when we're not, it just drives me crazy because mm. it's not like they're doing anything at 3 a.m. I mean, really, what are you doing at 3 a.m.? Not much. Kind of right? hoping everything just works out smoothly, but yeah, congrats on your Calmo yeah. era. <laughs> Proud of you. 8631 is our phone number if you want to call us, get yourself on the show again. Uh, I am uh, remote, but in studio, Sam and Kay are there. I believe with have Kalia here somewhere. I see him on Viber, like a stalker. I see that he's active, so I'm waiting for him to respond to the message. But we're on till 9 a.m. Uh, we invite you to hang out with us the entire time. Listen, Instagram went down today. Many of you, and it probably Facebook. happened in the middle of the night mm -hmm. or late evening last night. And um, I was calm about that, too. See? Wow. wow. I did see cool. people freak out online. Who are you even? Like, yeah, wow. recognizable. This is right. Dune 2 Mo. <laughs> I think yeah. he, but he said it was life changing. That's the change. And this is it. This is it right oh, here. Oh, wow. So watch it. I watched part one last night. But of course, you I had did? to sleep. I had to sleep early in the month because <sighs> it was show in the morning. Ooh. Morning radio live. <laughs> But yeah, did you, I like it? did you finish it? I did like no, I had like ten minutes in. Well, I got to the part where they're like fighting. Angeling, everyone looks so gorgeous. Wait. It's well acted, and it's wow, you, it looks amazing. Ten minutes of Dune one, maybe fifteen, because I got to the part where they were fighting, and then I said, "Oh, this is too exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna be awake, so I'm gonna sleep now." <laughs> <laughs> that, that is morning radio in a nutshell, movie. people. I'm trying to think what fighting you're talking about. But, yeah, oh, okay, so you, I don't know if I feel worse now than I did yesterday. Because she only got like 15 minutes of the She only got 10, 15 minutes. like more of a failure that I didn't convince no. her. I couldn't even convince her to stay. No, I'm a series watcher, so I do like bits and pieces every day. I was thinking, okay. ang ganda -ganda, parang I, I wouldn't want this to end yet. Diba? You want to you wanna give the, the thing... A shot like the whole thing. Yeah. When you can no, I'm a series commit. watcher, so I watch uh, maybe an hour here and then an hour there. So and it's a long movie. I like this topic. I think we should do it after the commercial break. But mm -hmm. what's what the differences between the series watcher and the movie watcher? Mm -hmm. Like characteristically, what are the differences? Do they have difference in personalities? I think so. Obviously, consumption of the content is yeah. really it's different. It's telling what kind of a person you are. Yeah, and, and there, there are there are those series watchers. Maybe we're actually talking about it already, but there are those series watchers that need to have all season, the whole season in one go. The marathon yes. watchers, yeah, yeah. The binge binger. marathon watchers, yeah. And then there's the week to week group, which That's is me. I fall into the week to week. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, that's me as well. I, I got to do the week to week, and I'll tell you why. And and you guys have heard this through the years, especially during the G uh, good times, no, good times, Game of Thrones days, where I gave you a 24 hour silence period. That's what oh, I gave you guys on this radio show. Hmm. And. If you did not watch it in 24 hours, <laughs> the whole spoiler alert is out the door. That is your fault. Correct. Yeah, right? we would watch it Monday mornings here. We would go Correct. to my dad's house because he had the cable. <laughs> now you know yep. we're cheapos too. <laughs> yeah, Gillage but was... life, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you had till Tuesday morning to watch it. And if you didn't, you cannot complain if I told you blank died. 
<laughs> super fair. That's your, super fair. That's 24 hours. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what it is. Yeah. Movies, yeah. like a Dune 2, one week. You get one week. Mm. And if you don't watch a big film in one week, that's your fault. I have the right to spoil. So there's there, there are different ways that series watchers and movie watchers differ. Uh, I, okay, I'm so glad. High five. Let's go week to week. That's what I do. Samo, not sure where she falls. I'm going to say you're the binge. I am a binger. Person. Yeah, oh. I'm a binger, which is why I try to stay away from it. But when I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> I hate the binge watcher. Man. Why do you hate the binge watcher? Because they have all these rules about what we can talk yeah. about. It's like, oh, oh I don't, really? They do? I don't know. I just go and watch the thing and, and don't I don't you, have rules for anyone else. Don't you feel really oily after you watch? Yes. Right? Yes. 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 That's why I have to like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to be oily today. Yeah. <laughs> I just commit to the oily <laughs> and just binge. <laughs> binge watchers is when they start having a reaction it's so late you know like yeah, months like, late oh yeah like dude where were you I will give you that that is true so yes. irritating I, I, yeah yeah they to the party Join the discussion. I know everyone's moved on already yeah. I know I know and it's not even just that everyone's moved on. You're just so delayed. Like, <laughs> like I can't say the word because it's offensive, the, the R word, but you're so oh my delayed. Grab it so R word. So that was my first encounter with Mo, like years ago. What, the R word? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? When, well, can you paint the picture? Yeah, what of is the situation here? We've known each other you, for you so long. You said it. You said it on the radio. I think it was here in the booth. You were still here. And I was like, did he just say See? that? <laughs> and I think I, I, I had to react and say, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like him. That's like that's him. That story of my life, Kay. Yeah. I've heard that a million times. Pre Dune Mo. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. We like no, the oh, Dune. Oh, I feel challenged to, to say it again today because <laughs> you're a little bit luxury. Where's Alex? I feel like Alex is a binger and he can be on my team. Alex is a binger. Drives me nuts. Yes. And, and uh, yeah, no, I'm going to call him. See, he's even late to this. He's R-wording to this show, <laughs> which I will call him here in a second. 8631 Okay, so the movie watcher, um, let's see. Uh, Wait, so the interesting so thing watching- about Kay is that you're, um, you're the type who will watch it per episode, and you even will chop up a movie. <laughs> I could. Right? Is yeah. That, is that allowed? Only because we had a show today. I know, I know. So is that the usual? No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. Okay. No, don't worry. We would have had our permission to be absent today if it meant watching Watching the the whole thing. (laughs) (laughs) Just just saying. Totally okay. It's my callbacks. I'm not going to mess up. She she still thinks she's auditioning for the show, Mohan. Okay. Uh, Hold on. Can, can Can I throw this one thing about the movie person, though? The movie person, you... You know, the said was when you know it's a three-hour movie and you didn't prepare with your uh, with your uh, what's what's the what's the part of the body there your kidneys where you know you're peeing and all <laughs> like you didn't prepare in advance and then you have to get up and <laughs> use the bathroom and something like you knew this was a three-hour fifteen movie in advance you should have prepped ahead of time yeah to not what if they're like nervous peers so you know too much just, excitement yeah uh uh-uh. uh I have to pause it. <laughs> Wait while you walk off. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> it's not play. Uh, are you a subtitles person, even if it's in English? Oh, I put subtitles in Spanish so I could practice Spanish what? if it's in English. Hmm. Do you have French? Uh, no French. Uh oh. Yeah. I guess yeah. So wait. If you're trying to learn a new language. Uh oh. What's that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm taking French classes, so what I. Are uh, you? Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's not French at all. <laughs> <laughs> you should be multilingual. That's how you make your brain work and make sure you don't, you know. Chincha, chincha, chincha. Keep up. What's your Korean literacy rate? What's your Korean? Mine. Um, 
Yeah. It, oh, not yours. I was wondering if you speak <laughs> Korean at all. No, mine is K-drama Korean. And this is really trippy for any Korean I meet in Korean. I feel like such a comedian. Like, 안녕하세요. Pogo uh, Which is, I miss you. All the, like... So you meet Flirty words? <laughs> you meet someone for the first time, ask how they are, and say, I miss you. I miss, no, 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 no. I tell them, I know K-drama Korean. That uh-huh. is my level. Like, um, way, 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 which is like a dramatic why, why, why. <laughs> <laughs> These are the things they say. Or you're crazy. Mi Can I saw? Mi chin. Mi chin. Or something like, Mi chin saw. Or, uh, yeah. I'm, um, I think essential to any country is I'm hungry. Like, pegu mm. Yeah. All the dramatic lines needed for survival. Yeah. Basically. I, I, I got those. Done. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. And your pronunciation well, is you on point. To. Well, okay, but, but Korean. K drama level is what? It's like, can you navigate through the city? No. Oh, uh, yeah, those people are dropped in off. If you got dropped Good. off in some random area in Seoul, you'll be able to get your way back. But you get neighbor, I mean, because they don't have Google Maps really, they have neighbor. Mm, so yeah. you kind of figure it out. And then if you have enough Korean, they will, they'll help you now if you have like an introductory hello. Yeah. You you'll you'll be alive. I mean, as long as you have like pego payo, which is hungry, you know, you'll have food. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ajuma that's that's the no, but what you say, Tita who who cooks in those manga panjong what is it called? The the tent. Uh Pojang Mata. Pojang Mata. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, what is Panjong Tagar? That's a different country. But yeah. You, you yeah, that's India. You have um so you've got K drama level of Korean. You have money heist level of Spanish. <laughs> uh, you got it. That's everybody. Uh, I am. I'm wondering what other languages out there based on TV shows or TV series. Turkish. Turkish is huge. Is Turkish really? shows. Like, give us okay, some so the Korean. Don't yeah, that Korean it. wave, Sam. Yeah, right yeah. behind the K drama is pushing hard. Is that Turkish group? No. And they've what got a massive global fan base. What's wow. the What's the show? I don't know. No, I mean, it's like you asking me what's a Korean show. I'm like all of them. Oh, it's like Turkish a shows yeah. are stupid we are famous. Behind. Super. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and and man, like I have a friend. Uh, she's leaving, uh, you know, from here, leaving for Istanbul next month. In that, in the way that there was K drama fanatics heading mm. to Seoul, just to kind of immerse in the culture and look around and all that. You're finding that with the Turkish group as well. People are just landing there like crazy. The shows wow. are so famous. They're, I'm they're, shocked. Yeah, me too. That I, I have no okay, idea. You heard it here first. You are a trendsetter, Mo, especially when it comes to movies and series. Yep. You heard it here first. Turkish <laughs> shows, monster, monster, monster following. And you guys are just around the corner from losing your minds. Have you seen one? Hell no. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Yeah. No, I just know the fan. I just know the craze. The craze is there. Trust I, me, it's I, real. I don't watch K drama shows either, but. I know the level of influence they 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 hold. You the watch K drama shows, yes, you do, Mr. Pachinko. Mr. But Pachinko. But, I think but that if we have, K-drama. I think if we have people flying to the country because they were fans of the show and now they just want to go there and you know do all the stuff, uh, I, I think we're onto something. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I am spearheading this for our local population. I am not here telling you that I am transcending Turkish. Uh, shows because they're already massive so i don't want to like you know front like that mm. but if there's somebody out there listening who are watching turkish shows please call and i would like you to explain why they're so popular i hear the drama is a bit more relatable there's not a lot of overacting relatable. of course the actors and the actresses are beautiful mm. and I, I but i think with the turkish stuff this is what i'm hearing okay and again not watching that it's about the guys who are really hot. Now, I know with the K <laughs> stuff, the guys are very beautiful and yes. the girls are really beautiful and they're kind of very similar in their amount of beauty. But if you want macho, if you oh, want like the manly bull, man, if you want, yeah, that the Turkish stuff is there. It's like Magic Mike mixed with 
Say no more. Say no more. Okay. I'm in. Okay. In Turkey. In Turkey. That's right. Yes. Yeah, let's not forget. Turkey. All right, we're going to take a break because Alex is coming up. He is knocking on the door of our Zoom and. We will take a break when we come back, the four of us together again, just as yesterday. And we would love if you guys can join us at 8631-899. It's good times here in Magic 89.9. Back if this, don't go away. It's good times with Mo, Sam, and Bam on Magic 89.9. 643 on this Wednesday morning. You are listening to Good Times here on Magic 89.9. And finally, we are four. I feel like Alex has Mm -hmm. been... Or the lack of Alex being here was the problem why we were having so many technical issues. Now that the three, four of us are together, everything sounds clear. And it's good. No more issues, please. Oh, my gosh. I want to go home. <laughs> Alex. Good morning, guys. Fix good morning. This. Fix good morning, this. Smack. Good morning. Why are you late? This is our audition. I don't no, think you're going to pass. No. I'm okay. I'm a victim of the FB kagabi and I'm not Kasi dapat, nanod ka ng dun. Natulog ako. Seryoso. Na, ano, nag, nakatulog ako 1.15 kasi nag-show ka, may show kagabi. Yan. Pero ang saya sana ng ano, energy ko. Tapos ma, ma, mapapahinga ko yung, yung slow version ng Do you feel? <laughs> yung mga kanta na <laughs> kahit wala kang problema. Huwag kang problema ka. <laughs> We were talking about heartbreak yesterday. A song like that. <laughs> That song should have been a slow song anyway from the beginning. I mean, when I first heard it as a fast, like, why, 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 who ruined this? I know it's the original, but when you heard it, you just knew it should have been a slow song. Nah, and it's it's oh. fun kaya to dance when you're heartbroken with a shot of tequila, dancing. Diba, tinata, tinalo niya yung kape. What is tinalo what does a heartbroken dance move look like, hey? I don't know. No. Come come to Manila and I'll show you. No, I, no, we, why why come there? I'm on Zoom. I just want to see. Can it, let, let, what's a what's a what's a heartbroken move look like? I guess you'd be close to the floor. I'm broken out that same move, pero walang facial expression. Because if you're crying, uh-uh. pero pagka malo pagka broken out that ka, gato ka lang magsayo. <laughs> I thought it was the same dance moves but with tears. Yeah. It's yeah. But with, uh, oh, with tears ka pa rin, pero think, wala kang mukha, wala yeah. kang tawa kasi and best outdoors yung parang yeah, I'm with the moon and the stars. Okay, so someone's ever, done this before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love, yeah. And, we can't and, get over we can't get over the love, the heartbreak topic from yesterday, <laughs> I see. Um <laughs> Alex, of mm. course, uh, now here, in, not in studio. He is on Zoom. Always yeah. the threat when Alex is on Zoom that he's just going to be a little bit more offensive than usual. Um, I think, was it on Monday? Or, no, not Monday. It was last week where Alex calls the show, okay, and uh, on, on Thursday, I believe. And I could see Sam melting <laughs> in her chair. Because she was worried Alex was going to say something offensive. <laughs> yes, I mean, come on, let's be honest. Yes, it has so, yeah, a little bit. Know, yung, so, mid- midwife, mid- yeah, it was the midwife. Was it? Was it midwife? Oh. I could see Sam, or was that on Monday? I could see Sam going. Oh. <laughs> 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 but, but here's what I. Yeah, you got to look at her face. But here's my question: What's the line? that crosses between appropriate and inappropriate behavior. And let's throw in um, like between men and women. Like what's the line between appropriate and inappropriate? Is it always sex? Is it always once you get sexual, that's the line? Ah. Oh, and let me, let me ask the comedian first maybe because you're the guy that has to always walk the fine line. Oh, eliminating the situation, alimbawa, for, alimbawa nasa on air. Pag nasa on air ka, mas mas lumiliit yung 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 alam mo eh, unlike pag private. Yeah. Pag private, the matter. Oh, ano ka ba naman? Pikon ka ata, tayo hindi, di ba? Pero pag on air, lumiliit yan. Pero, hindi lang laging sex. Minsan yung 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 mga taklesang tanong. For example, oh, yung, yung alabawa, oh, ba't wala ka pang asawa? Dati, mm. ano yan eh, pag uh, normal yan, ah, wala ka pang asawa. Pero pag alimbawa, ngayon, hindi mo na masyadong Na, na offensive na sa iba yan. Yeah, but, but you can be offended if your tita says that. I mean, Sam, 
Hey, if you're thinking this is a, a question like that, that's offensive. That's not a inappropriate. Is it offensive from a tita? Because at this way, point, it's like expected. Yeah, if you're, I, I'm actually now offended when people say tita because now I'm very tita. <laughs> Excuse me, titos also are offensive. <laughs> Every time people say, like, what is the big deal about titas? Hello, titos. Worse. So, so what is that? Like, um, walang preno. Parang walang, and they were just used to being tactless. They're from a different generation where everything was okay. Mm-mm-mm. Diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ano, yung, alimbawa, yung wait dati, diba, laging, uy, Tumataba ka. Dati, ano yun eh. Ngayon, di ba, ano pa, maraming na-offend. Na- ako, hey, uh, with, all, with your ano, permission, simply, with permission. Ay, ako, ako na ano ako sa kanya. Dito mo, <laughs> yung pagkikipagtinanos sa, sa social media na, ba't wala ka pang anak? That's, yeah, ano, I get that a lot. Parang, yeah. O, oh, di ba, o, oh, pag ganun, mga ganung issue. Napaka offensive na ngayon nun. Ay nang offensive I even practice my my sex. response just Oh, so what's that, your response? What's the official? No, I I I'm saying I practiced my most offensive sarcastic response just so I get it out of my system. And then my my best friend sent me some quotes. I have a best friend who's like very studious and she she gives me responses from history, mga ganyan. To this question <laughs> of like why no, I mean just Things that could possibly be parang a wrong response. Like, why do you have to be offended at all? Is what she's saying to me. Mm. What if you just played the game? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Parang ganun. So I don't want to give my response here kasi corny. You want to use it for like when it actually... For I'm ready. Uh-uh. <laughs> or when the situation... But I'm social media. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Media. But I never kasi respond online because... Um, I, I liken it to how I like to run. I like to do uphill. So when it's harder, I I, I know that I've trained for the ignore or block or it, you know just the high road kumbaga. Mm. So uphill but, 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 is the high road. My interview si Yael, di ba? Yael did not practice the high road. We are different. May interview niya? Hindi. Because we didn't want to give it a view. But I do, oh, I ako, do know what it is. May interview siya na ano, parang gano'n nga, nakita ko na. Sabi ko, kasi na, yun, galing, galing yun sa ano, yung sa old, ano, old school of thought na in order for you to be complete. Next. Mga gano'n. Kaya medyo, medyo nakaka, medyo sa akin offensive yun na sa iba, ano, hindi nila alam niya gano'n. Marami ng ano ngayon mo eh. Hindi dahil sa, minsan hindi, hindi sadya, minsan may mga taong taklesa lang. Pero may mga limit ako. Yeah, but I, I guess my, my original question, though, is between men and women, though, Mm-mm. right? What is the line um. that crosses appropriate and inappropriate? Uh. Because we, we, we understand the tita, we understand the uh, social media kind of aspect mm-hmm. where and everybody feels like they have a green light right. to say anything. Uh, but when it comes to inappropriate and appropriate between the opposite sexes, yeah. is there uh. a different line and there must be a different line i have some experiences i i do travel alone so there was a time i i did work in singapore for kitchen musical and i was reminded about this one moment in a taxi because i took an uber recently and i was stuck with a man for like an hour because it was traffic in london name dropping (laughs) dropping my where where i've been recently so i'm in the uber my friend told me not to take the the subway the two um, so yeah. I was like, okay, sige, I'll take the Uber. Sabi niya, she'll pay for it because it's safer. But here I am, alone with a man. We're chatting because it's traffic. Okay, it's fun. It's funny. I'm from the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. Do you watch theater? Because I'm watching some plays. Okay, the conversation's okay. He has some kids. And then, I don't know if it's just me. But if they know they're with an Asian woman, somehow the topic goes to Thailand and then massages. Oh. Yes. And then I am stuck in the freaking Uber, which is my safe way, according to my friend. And I'm dying because I'm like trying to figure out how to unlock the door, how to make a distress signal. Like if ever I need to like roll out of the car, which is what my Lolo says I should do if I am stuck with a car. I am stuck in a car. So yeah. 
What, what, what do you mean? Like, what is is the conversation? Is he parang alluding to like, are you open to? No, no, no. What, It'll what always the- be like, you know, I have a friend and he went to Thailand and he got a massage and I'm like. And then alala ko in Singapore I had the same ex- experience. Oh, you're Filipina. Then later, later, you know. Something about <laughs> Thai massage, like what is the connection, sir? <laughs> and We're not Thailand. Okay. <laughs> yeah, lump together the whole you know Asian community, but I get like super creeped out because ako like when I know a man is creepy, I really get kilabot. Like it physically manifests. Physically, uh-huh. yeah. And I I learned this when I was still in SOP, which is sobrang okay para, not an, another thing you're thinking. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying two days in a row. Two yes. days in a row. Because, you know, it's no longer a show, so may, they might get confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was singing with this guy. His name is Malik. No longer, there are no longer any phones as well. <laughs> <laughs> They're baby computers, okay? The SOP that when we started that TV show 25 years ago, 25 we were referring to not this okay it was a different phone but anyway you tell but yeah so malik whenever we would sing together i would get some kind of chill and i was like May mali siya ka ba? i had to ask him because huh? wow and he's like yeah how did you know because parang we would do a test like sometimes it would be jr tapping me and it's like there's nothing and then he would tap me and i'd be like eh. <laughs> and then there was this one day Months later, sabi ko, ay nawala. Wala ka nang mali siya. And he said, oo, naubos na. I was like, ah, oh, it really manifests pala. Your spine tingles somehow. Wow. No, your spidey senses are strong. Spidey. Ah. Uh, yeah, Galeng. perhaps, perhaps. So that's when I know there is a line that is crossed. Wow. How about you, Sam? What's the line that crosses between inappropriate and appropriate behavior when oh, it comes I'm to really men try, I'm really trying to think hard. Like, other than that sexual line, what is it? Sexual seems to be the, right? It's, yeah, it's gotta I, be. Essential. First and all, first and foremost. Uh, I don't be Women's Day, Women's Day, but I'm on Women's Month. Yes. It's Women's Month. Uh, was, uh, was March 8th, but yeah, stop, pero March. stop lowering its potency, okay, Alex, <laughs> by going from Women's Month to Women's Day. How dare you? March So anything na parang Pag sa parking Hirap uh-huh. sa parking Di ba alam mo yung like, ma- may, may inahabol kang parking space Tapos may makakasalup May maano kang isang kotse na Nagapark Tapos umaatras-atras Kasi hindi maayos-ayos yung ano niya Binibino ko lagi yung wife ko na Babae nagdadrive niyan And so, Okay, alright Okay, so, so Okay, so is yeah, females bad drivers? Okay, and maybe this women's month thing is is kind of appropriate for this topic. But the women are bad drivers. As females, are you guys still offended by that? I don't drive, uh, so oh I'm God. not particularly offended by this. Oh, okay. But oh, I, okay. but I do know some <laughs> really good female drivers. Tina Ryan, shout out. So. Yeah, you drive, Kay. I know, but is, I is this because the, the whole bad female driver is such an old school uh, oh. stereotype? Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I feel like we have grown past this, and that yes, there are. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I Parang uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hello is a man and he sometimes doesn't go upstairs because he can't park downstairs. That's why it's offensive. Hey, now, listen, don't take revenge on uh, by, by calling out your husband. Let's, let's <laughs> take some calls. 8631 uh, What's the line that crosses between appropriate and inappropriate behavior between men and women? Good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi, who's this? Uh, Vaughn. Hey, Vaughn. Sorry, um, line of uh, between inappropriate and appropriate Siguro when, ano, uh, sobra rin joke. Joke about what? Um, yung pag nagbibiroan, tapos medyo personal na yung, um, anat. Mm. Uh, something like that. But isn't that like across the board? Is that a male-female thing? Oh. In particular? Um, uh, I don't know, pero usually pag females, mas madalas, nababansin mo mas madalas na, 
Okay. Mapikon. Uh, um, <laughs> expressive lang. Okay. It's, it's so uh, usually kasi pag uh, nasa uh, inuman, ganun, um, pag nakikipagbiroan yung guys, para okay lang eh. Pero pag may mga female, mas madalas, madalas silang ma-offend. Hindi ko lang, hindi lang ako makaisip ng particular topic. Like this okay, setup? Like, setup like, of like, our show? Like this setup of our show? Thanks for the call. Thank you, Vaughn. Bon. Thank you. Maybe we should rephrase this question. And what stereotype do you have about the opposite sex that you still run with? Like, it has not expired yet. And, and, and the yeah. reason why I ask this is because so it could be equally offensive. I, I, don't want, I, mean, I, don't wanna, I don't want only girls to get offended here because that's not fair, <laughs> right? But, uh, for but women's month. Let's go with... Let's go with both females to call the show, females who are in studio, uh-huh. males here as well. What is a stereotype that you have about the opposite uh, sex that you I still run one. with? I have ex- one. Even if it's already major old school, like it, but our lines are full. We will get to you guys in a sec. Kay, give me your give me your stereotype you have about us guys. So and I will tell you if we offend it. But this one I like to copy. You know how when a man comes in late mm. to anything? Like we Alex? Uh uh-huh. Yung parang wala lang. Oh, sometimes kasi when I'm late, I really run. And you're super apologetic. I'm so apologetic. And I actually got into a bad accident doing this. But when a man is oh, late, they dressing. just like... Because you <laughs> They just enter ever so casually. And then yung favorite ko, yung pag nagalit pa siya sa'yo, ang, ta- ang style pa na yun is called unahan mo ng galit. Oh, so okay. sometimes I try to apply this. Like, yeah, I'm late, whatever. I'm a man. <laughs> then you feel horrible about it. No, I feel yeah. great. You do? Yeah. I'll be late like a man. Like that. Yeah. So that's my favorite uh, one. Are guys late? No, um, when they're late, they're never so like... Okay, that's too okay. soon, Kay. That's like... <laughs> or are, you saying, are you saying men are late? No, when men and are late... And then we don't care. No, it's, no. Like, it's the unapologetic part. Yeah, when you're late, yeah, it's, it's like, little... whatever. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm trying to see. Have I first of all have I heard the stereotype before? I know, me too. A. It's kind of is that is that. Hmm. And then, am I unapologetic, uh, unapologetically late? Okay. I don't know. I see it at work, so that's really? that's for me. That, and I and I try to copy it. Is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. okay. Eight six three one three eight nine nine. Our our lines are full. Let's let's take a couple calls here. What are some of the stereotypes you still have about the opposite sex, even though we shouldn't be doing this, really? Good morning. Hi. Hey, good morning. Hi, what's your name? Hi, who's this? Uh, Paul here. Hey, Paul. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's a stereotype, but me and my ex were going back at this point. You know, having a best friend of the opposite sex. Like, he has a boy best friend, I have a girl best friend, and someone else is appropriate or whatever limit or something in that line that we're not supposed to have a girl best friend or a boyfriend and mm. if that rings up okay what's the stereotype again guys cannot have i mean i feel like this should be a phone call for a girl to call the show where guys cannot have girl best friends yeah I and mean, for guys girls can have like boy best friends. like they go out on their own dates they only go out just like them only so. Interesting. Okay, well, hold on. Let me throw this to the group. Thanks for the call. Appreciate Thank you, you so much. Have a good one. Um, who's got more permission, Lex, K, uh, Sam? Who's got more permission, the guy to have a girl best friend or the girl to have a guy best friend? Well, in our case, Yael has a girl best friend. Oh, he Kim. does? Marvilia. Yeah, she used to be a DJ in NU 107. And yeah, that's totally cool. I don't have a guy best friend, but I have a lot of guy friends. Yeah, yeah. And one enemy, Ryan Bang. Ako depende sa timing. Ako depende sa timing. Depende ako sa timing. Yung dumating ako sa buhay niya, best friend na sila. Wala na akong magagawa doon. Pero kung kami na, tapos nag-best friend pa sila ng bago, yun medyo offensive naman. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nag-flourish yung friendship nila. Oh, bakit? Yan may timing, may timing yan. Pagpasok ko sa buhay, may best friend na kayo. Hindi ko na, mahirap na yan. Medyo, medyo parang, alam mo, parang pinapatapon mo yung bagay na 
na parang dating naabutan mo sa kanya. Pero pag mm-hmm. halimbawa kayo na, tapos, Oy, ito nga pala yung best friend na sobrang, <laughs> sobrang offensive sa akin yun kasi ano ako ngayon, parang ba't kailangan maghanap? Ah, um, mas mas pero sa best friend. But dahil makabago na tayo ngayon, ha? we're not ano, hindi na, wala na ngayong definition was a threat ha. Hindi po kit babae ang best friend mo, lalaki ka. Pwede ng guy to guy ngayon. Ayun, ah. um, shocking, shocking dyan. <laughs> Shocking, wala nang kasi dati. <laughs> diba ba asya ka, mabagugulat ka. May tiwala ka sa best best, best pen ng Mr. Mo lalaki. Naalis sila ng alis. Mas na mas wala na ngayon kasi kailangan mo na rin update yung selos mo. Hindi na ngayon magdi-selos ka sa opposite sex. Pati same sex pwede ka na rin mag-isip, depende na rin 'yon sa nangyayari sa sitwasyon. Update Thank your you selos settings. So much for yes, increasing our paranoia oh. levels. <laughs> But Sam, I'm I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna guess. You mm. confirm yes or no? You would not allow your boyfriend to have a girl best friend. I think Alex is onto something. Like, pag nandyan na siya, I mean, I'm not gonna break that up, right? Correct. But if there's a budding best friendship, uh, I'm gonna be all over that. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is this situation? What? Yeah. <laughs> Real? Is there a K drama that resembles this? Life that <laughs> you can go in your in your K drama catalog. Yes, many K dramas pan out like this and don't end well. Diba? We know this. What? Which one? I'm trying to think. So many, so many. But like, I mean, okay, you, you was the girl best friend there already? Yes. Oh, oh. And she helped Yael do the perfect beach shot where he showcases his abs. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> she's like a wingman woman to seduce you. Yeah. With the said ab shot. Diba? Yeah, because uh-uh. that was the time he was ignoring me pa. So uh-huh. para, let me just show you my body. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. All right. That's, uh, that's Sam, how about you? Uh, I know, again, 863 was your 89. We've got a bunch of calls here. But let's take one more and I want to ask Sam what her stereotype is. Good morning. Hi. Morning. Hi. Good morning. What's your name? Uh, my name's Jay. Hi, Jay. Uh, for me, I think stereotyping like the guys. Whoa. Very- Oh, sorry. Hello? Can you hear me? Ooh. Yeah. Also, a lot of feedback. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, how about this? There. Okay, Jay, go. Yeah, stereotyping like the guys that are really vain. Really vain? Oh. Yeah, like, you know, they have you know, skincare, this and that. So That's fine. Like, girls think that they're gays. Or the other way around, like, girls doesn't really dress like sexy or not. They think that they're tomboys. This is um stereotyping, but I don't know. Do you get because of all of the background noise? What did he say with stereotype was? Uh, that if a guy is thank you, Jay. Thank you so much for calling. That if a guy was vain and had like say a whole skincare routine going, oh, obviously he's gay. Or if a girl doesn't dress sexy, she's obviously a tomboy. But you're just being judgy. You still ha- He still has that. No, I did see it on TikTok once, and the guy was able to sell a lot of skincare products just using that line. Which line? Yung that... parang kala ng mga tao parang uh, masyado akong banidoso and that I'm vain. And I was really into the TikTok too, because he walks inside his car, and the next thing you know, he's selling you all these products because people think I'm gay or um, trans or something like that, and then. Ito lang naman yung mga ginagamit kong produkto. <laughs> it's got like lots of views and likes. I'm like, still effective. Like, using the stereotype to just mm-hmm. sell things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 that. Love it. Okay. Here's my stereotype. Okay. I think you girls hate each other. Huh? Yeah, Sometimes you say that a continue. lot. I think girls hate yeah. each other. Yeah. Yes. I think that's... You guys hate uh, each other. Yeah. But I think that's like a very, <laughs> ano, old school thing also. Because <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It, it, this is an old school yeah, 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 stereotype yeah, yeah, yeah. that I still believe in. Yeah, I like you see it. You yeah. see it. Like you see the cattiness. Oh, oh. As Kaya, alam mo yung napaka perfect ng buhay. Ano ba kapag kayo magwipe ko? Ang pinaka sa lahat ng malalaki dito ang sumisira sa perfect relationship nila yung mga homecoming uh, reunion ng mababae. Oh, we had one. Alis yung asawa mo. Alis yung asawa mo na. I love this. I love, I love, ano in life natin so perfect. Pagbalik niya, <laughs> dami na siyang comparison. <laughs> Pag tatingin mo lang sa reunion, you know what? Yung friend ko, kung mag-travel pala sila, thrice a month, bakit tayo? Eh, na, na, may, la, pag-uwi niya, paano kasi nga, yung mga girls, may mga 
usapan niya na akala mo hindi kaya pero naglalaglag na yun ng mga competitive sa inyong buhay. Uh, di ba kaya na makain na gayos? Hindi naman lagi sa lalaki because of your friends. Hindi, for yourself. Che. Oo, oh, 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 ano talaga sa for yourself pero ang lagi naman pupuno sa inyo hindi naman lalaki. Talaga? Kapwa girls yun naman eh. Oh, pag nagbag ba kayo ng LB, oh. may nagsabi naman ng lalaki sa inyo na, ay, ganda lang ng LB mo. Hindi. <laughs> You're using LB para makita ng mga babaeng. Di ba? <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but the guys did compete. I, this is a competition thing, right? Yung, like, when, when girls get yeah, together yeah. and then, oh, we talk oh. about this and that and then, oh. you know. But guys do this too. I think you guys are maybe just like no, not obvious. We don't. No, we don't. No, you don't? No, we don't. You're not we don't do comparing we don't, we don't your abs or your muscles? No. No. <laughs> that, that's the that's the that's the bakla guy who's selling the products that is doing that. At he us. wasn't um, gay at all. No, he just had nice we compete, skin. We compete for for purpose of winning. But we don't create competitions where there are none. Oh. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I think you girls concoct competitions out of nowhere. Well, and the um, the analogy I've always used through the years, and if you've heard this before, forgive me, I'm repeating, but it, it kind of what oh, Alex says. Let's use Alex's uh, setting. We go to a party. We go to some Homecoming. I don't know, disco, whatever. I don't know nobody calls that anymore, but I heard it the other day. Wildflower <laughs> go to the disco. disco is a thing. Yeah. And if Alex and I show up together wearing the same shirt, we just high five. High five, brother. Look at that. Same shirt. You <laughs> girls, if you're at a club and you guys came into and all of a sudden you guys are wearing the same outfit, that bitch. You know, it's like that. You can that say that mindset. on the radio. Good morning. <laughs> I am shocked. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 well, I don't know. So Personally, I, I, for I, me, I, not I, a big deal. I think deal. you guys hate each other. No, wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, bibigyan kita ng example. Tapos simple lang kay. Alam ko bago ako magsalita. <laughs> kami mga lalaki kaya kami kayo nagpasimula ng iba't ibang color scheme. Ha? Huh? Kami brown lang. <laughs> Pag kami naglalabas si Mama, Mommy teacher to, ano color to sa Brown. Okay, brown. Kayo kaya sa sobra ano nyo, gusto niyo ba pa-impress yung sarili niyo? Kayo nag-imbento ng iba't ibang color scheme ng brown. Meron na kayong what? chocolate brown, dark brown, burgundy brown. Hello, it was Crayola who did that. Yes, Polka to, brown. <laughs> because of the compete. Sa tingin ko sa mga baan nagsimula yun eh. Like, bakit? Kasi, dahil magkapareho kayo ng damit, no! He's, she's wearing brown, burgundy. <laughs> like, I'm just wearing the maroon, oh maroon kind of brown. Kaya nagkalan ng color scheme na ganun. Para lang mapakalma yung mababae sa party. <laughs> Are you saying that women invented Pantone? We'll take that. Because we'll take that. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty I think, awesome. I think the earth and your eyes invented all the colors. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, but what Alice is saying is there are a few primary, secondary colors, and you've created a wider spectrum I to I think, I think they're just eyes. more detailed we'll like that. You, you know, attention to uh -huh. detail. As females. Yeah. Uh, as it's stereotyping, it's stereotyping, it's stereotyping it's shopping. Shopping alone is problema sa inyo guys. Kami ni mga nilimo, basta nakuha namin yung target namin, ano. That's it. You can ask that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hindi, <laughs> influence na rin, chopper yan. <laughs> Are you like to shop? I don't influence any chopper. I don't enjoy shopping, okay. but I am, um, I think there are a lot of guys out there that can 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 compete with you guys. Like there are a oh, lot of stereotyping is the girls shop, parang girls sport yan in shopping, di ba? Ay nang stereotyping, tama? Pag nag-shopping, it's the girls. Mm. Pero ngayon may mga guys na. Yep, Ay, yep, na, yep, na yep. open tayo na. Di ba pag na naka-open yon pag nag-shopping na, ha? Ang dami pinong milim. I know what milim. Listen, okay, I mean, I, maybe we go back to Imelda, I don't know. But when you girls were shopaholics and you guys wanted to buy shoes and all of that, if you're just shopping, Pero kami, we have to justify sneakerhead. You know, it, it's like some kind of justification for our shopping to make it more acceptable because girls shop, but we are sneakerheads. No, we are shopping too. We are guys we are competing too. with you guys in this. I am going to disagree on the shopping yeah. with the girls here. 8631 or 899 is our phone number. Let's take some more calls here.
Uh, we're talking about stereotypes that you still have about the opposite sex, even though that should really all be gone in this day and age. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hey, who's this? Yeah, Jake. 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 Uh, yeah. Para sa rin kasi yung, ano, yung sobrang arte pa rin ng mga babae. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Elaborate. Uh, parang sobrang, uh, feeling ko ha, <laughs> sila yung sila yung nag-imbento ng pagiging woke. Eh. Kung baga sobrang sensitive Mama. sa lahat ng bagay. Kunwari, uh, kasi babae ka eh. Tapos ngayon, ano, porket babae ako. Parang laging may ganun na. Kaya parang, yun yung feeling ko. Kaya lahat ng tao naging sensitive ngayon. O oh, wag ba sabihin niyang ganyan, yung pagiging, yung kanina, like yung topic kanina, yung, yung uh, parang tumaba ka. Ano mo yun? Kasi mga babae yung sobrang arte, mamaya, Iiyak na, wala na. Kaya hindi mo na pwedeng gawin ngayon yun. Alam mo yun, para... This guy is old like... school. <laughs> yeah, old Wait. school, pero talaga, para sa akin, well, mas sensitive is... yung mga tao ngayon dahil sa ganyan, sa ganyan. girls? Eh. Well, I think it's also called progressive thinking because there are some things oh, that we I just have to learn. No. <laughs> What? Uh, eh, 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 ewan ko, pero parang nabuhay naman yung parents natin or yung mga lumang tao Correct. na parang okay lang silang ganyan. Ngayon, wala na. Lahat ng tao... Gusto na magpa, alam mo yun? Uh, sorry, pero para feeling ko, mas weak na yung mga bata ngayon. Dahil I get that. Dahil maliit yeah, yeah, yeah. na bagay, ma, ano ni, uh, uh, drama ni, alam mo yun, yun para sa akin, ganun. But also, parang in the evolution of the earth and man, hmm. parang dumadagdag yung mga iniisip natin, nagiging mas aware tayo. Kaya nga woke kasi parang nagising ka sa iba't ibang katotohanan na hindi naman lahat ng tao ay ganito at ganyan lamang. Parang mm, pero, you just have to know yeah. that in the world, for example, mm. ang dami na mga bagong pag-iisip na you would wonder, baka kaya third world country pa rin tayo? Kaya, or developing country would be the more proper mm. term, di ba? So meron lang tayong parang pagbukas ng isip pa ng kahit konti para lang baka we could take from other countries what are they doing right but yeah about um, being sensitive of course women are sensitive because we like to feel things and sorry, we are but, open but, to but, it sorry cut lang kita kasi tingin mo for example ah, di ba may mga tao na ah, sabi mo sa first world country pero sa first world country usually doon yung maraming weak na tao I mean sila rin not in Scandinavian like, countries for sure okay, so natin, yeah yeah no, natin, definitely Japan, not di ba sobrang lahat ng tao konting uh, failure lang nagpapakamatay yun yeah, sorry sa mga terms pero yun yung mga mas nakikita ko compared sa mga Pilipino dati na parang wala naman tayong eh, alam talaga kung ganito sabihin ng tita natin o oh, mataba tayo ba't di ka pakinakasal ba't ganito eh sa sobrang lahat parang nino-normalize yung pagiging sensitive Parang lahat ng tao ngayon, hindi mo na pwedeng sabihin sa kanila. Okay, kasi bro, 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 bro. Are you married? Sorry, sorry. Are you married daw? Are you married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor girl. Kay and Kay and Sam just, they, they did, they did almost kind of like a, uh, they, 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 they coordinated <laughs> how bad they felt for this lady. <laughs> Tapos ako pinag-apalik sa seta siya, may nag-comment na babae. Uy, hindi mo naman masasabi, pinag-sample pa siya. Pina- <laughs> Pag nabasa ng lalaki ng guy na nagsaseta, exactly my point. <laughs> Sabi, uy, hindi <laughs> Hey, hold on, you know, let me, let's, can we just focus on one line he said? Thanks for the What's call, that? man, yeah. have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Can we focus on one line? He, he accused the woke movement on women as something created by women. And maybe there will be some people like him that would try to associate the Me Too movement with a woke movement if they came simultaneously or if one started the other, chicken or the egg, whatever. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna agree that women, women started this woke movement. It's a generation uh, that uh, yeah, kind of generation. said, we don't want to do what you guys did. You were keeping it all inside and saying nothing. Mm. Parang, yeah. diba, bakit, why don't you speak up for yourself? That's kind of like what they said. It's a lot. It's a lot yeah, to think, put it squarely on the women, I think. Yeah, no, and I, I, yeah, I, no, I, I disagree with that stuff. The, everything else was kind of funny because you don't hear it anymore. Yeah, but... I didn't want to say... No, it exists. I didn't say we, well, I didn't want to say we missed that level of uh, rhetoric that that guy was throwing, but I'm sure Alex did. So, uh, <laughs> 86310 <laughs> Hindi, ang ano, ang, ano mo, alam mo sa totoo lang, yung mga, mga pawok, whatever, it, mas masaya ang ginawa niya kasi nagkaroon tayo, ng, nagkaroon tayo ng secret society yung mga lalaki. Or mga tao, in general, hindi lang lalaki ha. Yung, alam mo yung, 
ano ka gait uh, kontra ka sa lalaki na yun sa lalaki na yun dapat yung sinasabi na yun sa inuman lang yun <laughs> yung kayo kayo lang yung kayo kayo lang ilabas mo lang ano mo tapos pag liwala nyo balik na ulit kayo sa pretending na we agree yeah, it's good to we, know it, it exists pagka, still and people don't really like get it and some people really can't deal with why are you guys so sensitive nowadays I have a friend like that yeah. Yeah, niya, no yeah. and I I think um, Mo and I also probably feel this like there are changes you know when when we do a show like even on the podcast like we're a bit more careful now because we know that these you know uh sentiments are out there we don't want to offend um i think maybe sometimes we take it a little too far to the point now we just can't even like honestly express maybe ah, how we feel about yeah, yeah. something because we're all like always worried that it might be offensive to a group of people you mga ganun yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think that's it's a it's a it's a no, it's a material for uh, we're very thankful for what's happening. Kasi, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like comedy gold. It's a treasure. Right it's a treasure chest for oh. me. <laughs> Those situations are very. Eh, yung mga ano? Oh, promise. Alex, nah. Alex has Alex has a show every weekend with new material because of this. So yeah. keep it going. It <laughs> makes some money. Keep going, guys. Uh, keep on. I, I think I think I read something on Facebook. Abigail says, "Men, I mean, we're talking stereotypes, right?" So. Uh, men who drive Hondas are pack boys. So I wonder if that is. <laughs> that is still a stereotype. True. Yeah, L when I met him had one of those. <laughs> not not overly tinted, but lowered, lowered. Nina man, but indeed in lowered, indeed in overly tinted, but it was a black. Honda. Okay. And when I entered, buti na lang he was playing Disney songs. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Songs. Yeah. Cause then that <laughs> oh really totally broke gosh. the stereotype. Disney songs, I'm like, oh, safe naman. He's not gonna Aww. ask me about Thai massages. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the thing about oh, you know, is, you know, lead singer, rock band, you know, all the stereotypes that fall onto that persona, it and then realize so no bigger Spice Girl fan in the yeah. world. Tong mga bandang to, mahilig pa lang. Oh Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. He is exactly. a character. All right, it's a secret. I want to see you become. No, you were it, Lord. Huh? Ano yung yung expectation ko lang maging pack boys. What it is? Today, yung expectation ko lang nilo over ko. Good one. <laughs> Let's take more calls here. Uh, stereotypes that you currently still have about the opposite sex. Good morning. Hey, hi, morning. Hi, morning. Hey, Who's hi, this? this is Lai. Hi, Lai. Hey, Hello. Lai. Current stereotype I just recently experienced. So you can you should be working but not behaving as a mom, even if you're one, and be a mom and behave as if you're not working. Mm. That's an annoying stereotype. And one, uh, just to share, can I, get, can I get it one more time? What, what was it? Because I, I thought you were going to give me a stereotype for men that you still believe in. But what was the one ah. for women? The stereotype is that when you're at the workplace, you need to behave as if you're not a mom, mm -hmm. even if you're a mom. And when you're at home, you should behave like you're a mom full time and you're not working. And people expect you to do both. Yeah, like the worlds can't collide. You can't show people your baby photos too much mm. and talk about your problems. Or I have to go home because, you know, the babysitter didn't show up or whatever. Right. Is this true? Well, we don't know. I, I think, <laughs> ano, isa pang stereotyping. Baka middle income ka lang. Pag gano'n na sasabit sa'yo eh. Alam mo yun? Hindi. Problemang parang... middle income kasi may ama talaga. Hindi may problema kayo yun. Is it? I'm not. There's. Is this true? Like that's my question. Or is it more um, like, parang you, because you know, at the workplace, like you, you should keep it professional to some degree. Because some oh. people even pump at work, di ba? Parang those there are workplaces that allow that. Uh, you pump milk. Okay. And things like that. That's or fine. bring okay. your kid to work. Uh huh. Parang ganon. Okay, but listen, okay? we're, we're one of the few countries in the world historically, I, at least in modern history, that have had several female presidents. Yes. Okay? And all of them were mothers, I believe. When they were sitting. Yeah, they were sitting. They were sitting. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ever, they were. Did we ever kind of take it against them, or maybe even looked at them, looked at them upon differently because they were moms. Like I don't re ever recall seeing one of our female presidents and go, "Oh, well, that's a mom." She was commander in chief, 
the most powerful person in the country, the and she held different. it no differently than a male did, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't think I can go back as far as Corey because maybe I was a little too young, but Margaret Thatcher, GMA, right? GMA, GMA, I can, I can uh, remember that. GMA, GMA is a mom. Yeah, and, uh, and, and uh, even 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 um, Lenny. It's like a very visible mother. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And I don't really get that vibe that, well, she's a mom, so she's got to act a certain way. I, I never got that. I, I, I think may example na maganda magbibigay yung example sa caller. No? For example, bakit ito siya sa'yo mo? Um, so office, um, tatawagan ka ng anak mo during meetings. Siyempre may ano yan, mayroong boundary yan na masusilipan ka talaga. Because of the, tama yung sinasabi niya sa amin. Eh. Um, hindi ka talaga dapat magpakamami muna sa work kasi hindi ibig sabihin na kinalilimutan mo yung anak mo pero hindi ka pwedeng during the business meeting eh, excuse me uh, I have to talk to my <laughs> kid medyo di ba lalo na in the middle of uh, ano yun mga example lang ha but, tapos pagdating mo but, sa bahay uh-huh. hindi expected na hindi ka tatawag hindi ka tatawag ng boss mo mm-hmm. while you're like di ba well, watching listen, a movie I, I think the work I think the work from home era and we talked about the work from home era with Bam on Monday is has normalized that your kids are a part of your life even when you're working and that's for men and women but really especially women in meetings when a child would walk by and ask but you know to mo or whatever and you're in the middle of a meeting it was okay to go okay guys hold on one second see kain ka muna okay anyway what were we talking about again that whole experience during covid i think helped go a we're all parents too especially the moms mm-hmm. they're moms too and they can be both simultaneously Yeah. And I thought that was huge. Yeah. For for that. And I was really Sa company ko, sa company ko yung when I was working with Accenture before this ano pa yung mga merong ano may mga room for breastfeeding, uh-uh. may 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 room for me time, may may room There's for ano merong activities na enable ng family. Room. Me <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex, what would a room for time me out. time? Time out. Like a time out. For us. For take boys. a nap. <laughs> Wedding, take a nap. Play a game. Wala, wala, wala. <laughs> Imagine, okay, I've never heard of a room for me time. I but know. But meron, meron, quiet room. We got out of the fire. I love it. it. Uh-huh. Okay, no, I love it. I, if there was a me time room, I love it. Man, we should have a me time room. <laughs> but boy, you know how there's always this uh, controversy of a men's restroom and a women's restroom restroom yung me time room that really needs to be divided <laughs> because what we are going to do in oh a me time gosh. room you don't want to walk into that <laughs> there's a lot of dna scattered all over that Ew. me time room <laughs> you guys don't want a part of imagine alex no seriously seriously no yeah no, you're no, right no joke time yeah, 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 if yeah, there was a uh, guy me time room Damn. What would go on in there? Pero, pero tama ay sa sa company ko, both naman na, na gender yung room na yun, yung quiet room. Pero pag halimbawa nga tama dapat maghiwalay. Kasi iba yung request natin sa quiet room eh. Dapat doon may tissue, may <laughs> lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Bobo, tawag ko may computer doon, buburay niyo yung history noon kasi <laughs> No, there's an automatic button on the wall right when you exit, right next to the light switch. That's an automatic history deleted, and then you're out. Our me time room. You don't want to touch the me time room. No, yeah, we're yeah. not going to your eight nine nine is a phone number. Let's take another call here. What are some of the stereotypes that you guys still have for the opposite sex? Good morning. Hi, morning. Yes, hi. Um, another driving stereotype: uh, women are bad drivers. Which has come yeah. up already, so, yes. Yeah, somebody called uh, on. Yeah. Uh, you may have just jumped in on this one now, but somebody did call. I think that might have been our first call that women are bad drivers. This is why I still uh, drive. Um, <laughs> I should really get a license. Mm. Thank you, though, you for calling. Yeah, no, thanks, you guys. Good morning. Thank you. Morning. Hey, do you drive at all? Do you know No, how? this is like one of Yael's hatest things Yay! about me. But Yay! I have to. I promised him at one point I will learn how to drive. So I figured because I I go here so early, maybe I should learn how to drive. I love so, it. I don't drive either. Pag may nakita ko na yun dapat mag-drive, ay si Kay yan. Kakatito lang yan. Grabe yung sobrang nababasa yung kilikili ko sa stress ng driving. Like, uh, I can't. I'll try again. Maybe because of that stereotype, I blame the men. Kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Let's take our next call. Uh, good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hey, who's this? Hi. Uh, Michael. 
Michael. Morning. Ah, Ito naman yung, uh, we're talking about cars, no? Uh, no, let's say we're your, not. <laughs> and I mean, stereotype. Stereotype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stereotype. Yung stereotype ng lalaki cannot yung follow the topic. Yung mga nag-drive ka <laughs> ng... Nag-drive ka ng usual grab, grab cars unit. What's Tapos that? Tapos ganun yung binili mong sasakyan. Yun, ma-judge ka agad na, ah, bakit yan? Pang-grab yan eh. Ah, ah may ganyan taxi. ng parang, uh, 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 how you uh, categorize a car. Hello, thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right, bye-bye. What? No. Yeah. Yan, isa, isang ano yan, not following the the topic. Yeah. Uh. yeah. All right, anyway, let's take a break. We're still this is a long conversation. Ay, yung, so, yung, yung break na yan, ha? Stereotype sa atin, sa atin naman, na pag nagtagal tayo sa banyo, akala may ginawa tayong kalakuan. Nainis ako dun. Pwede naman tayo mag-spoliate, ha? Pwede naman, ano, your aromatherapying to start up your morning, like Mo does. Yeah. Lagi na lang. Ay, Or stereotype playing Mo by Legends. Ba't tagal mo sa banyo? Ba't tagal mo sa banyo? What? Ba't nga ba? This is my me time room. Okay, <laughs> you know what we need? Diba kasi yung mga girls in the restroom, CR, they have a spray that kind of makes it smell nice, right? Uh-huh. Kami naman, we need a spray na amoy tae <laughs> para <laughs> amag na sa CR. Ah! Pwede natin ma-justify na. Hindi, hindi, wala kang ginawang kalukuhan. Alam mo, amoy mo yung tae. <laughs> It's oh, our... Like pag, Pagkagay namin, amoy Clorox eh. Amoy Clorox. Sa <laughs> Pata may Clorox doon. Mm. Nag-inis ako eh. Wala naman tayong Clorox, ha? Oh. Gosh. Yeah, Clorox. Yeah. Alam mo yun, Sam? Alam mo yung reference din, Sam? Yes, Clorox? yes, yes. Thank you very hey. much. So, Sam had a pass. Use some more, I know, earth-friendly <laughs> cleaners. We'll take a break. We'll take a break. When we come back, we have more of the show. It is uh, 7.28 here on this Wednesday morning. Back after this. Back on air. It's Good Times with Mo, Sam, and Kirill on Magic 89.9. Maggie Rogers there at 7.37. Don't Forget Me is the name of that song. The four of us in studio, kind of in studio. Uh, we're here on Magic 89.9. Of course, Kirill and uh, Sam in the Magic booth. Alex and I online. Um, 8631 or 899s or phone number if you want to call us. Get yourself on the show. <laughs> Shout like about this? What? Sorry, what? what I was going to say shout out to my Irmana. I have a classmate listening, Doc Kathleen Falazar. She's reacting daw in her car. Why are you yeah. reacting in your car? Arte, arte mo kasi. Happy Women's <laughs> Month, by the way. Uh, you know what I love about the four of us? And, and Alex, you know this because we talk about it on the show a lot. Sam, when I say the show, I mean the podcast. We talk about it a lot that you should never get into business with your friends. Ah. <laughs> Terrible, terrible idea. Family as well. But I feel like in this, we can hang. I mean, this this is, maybe there are some businesses out there where you hire all your friends. You don't necessarily go into business with your friends, but I think hiring your friends is easier. Do you get what I mean? Like, maybe you don't own the company, better your HR, you don't own the better manager. Huh? Mm. Hiring your friends, much easier, more successful thing to do than actually starting a business with your friends. Hiring because when you do that, there's like an automatic dynamic that comes into play. Is that what you mean? So now there's kind like of. boundaries. Yeah, you know? kind of. There's like, there are pros to hiring your friends that don't exist when you go into business with them. Right, right, right. Yeah, I think I agree. And that's kind of crazy, but it is, I guess it is what it is. And I, I the four of us are, are great, I think. So oh, who's hiring who? Only- <laughs> so they do when I feel like I feel, it's, I feel like it can be forever. Um, <laughs> Arte, naman nasa kaya natin eh, na friend. Kasi patunayan niya dapat nakarapat dapat siya. Yeah. Kainayin mo kasi nasa burden sa kanya dahil yung mga katrabaho niya will wait for the ano. Ang chismis mo na nun, hinari yan dahil kaibigan eh. Tignan nga natin. But see, that's okay. You can do that chismis. I'm okay with that chismis. I'm okay oh, with diba? it. You hired her because it was friend. Just as long as, you know, it's, What's hard is if you're like, you hire somebody young and attractive and then you just immediately, everybody thinks you're DOM. Mm. So I, that's you know, like that's, that's always kind of hard back to stereotypes, right? It's really kind of hard if you're a guy sometimes to do that. But anyway, we, we talked about that in the last topic. 8631 is our phone number. Sam, I have a, I have a, I have a topic I want to throw out there that didn't do so well the other day, but I think with this group might crush. Ooh, which one? Yeah. So we do this segment, Kay, where it's called, How Does Your Crazy Story End? Ah. 
And I feel like with your creativity <laughs> and Alex's creativity that we can really knock this game out of the park. And here's what we need. We need the callers. So you guys listening, we need you. You call us. You know how it goes. You tell us a crazy story that's real. A true story, but it's nuts. Something wild happened. And you leave out the climax, and we are going to fill in what we think happened in your ah. crazy story. Okay, that's all. And with, with the creative juices in the room today, I Woo! think we can come up with some killer ass. Um, Let's go. Endings to this story. So eight six three one zero eight nine nine. You call us. Tell us a crazy story. Leave out the big part, the big <laughs> twist, the big ending. Kay, Alex, Sam, and myself will end it, and then you tell us if we're right or wrong. All Very right. Easy. right. Let's um. What's up, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. What's that? Hindi, na naikita ko lang dynamics natin pag ka nag-company nga tayo. Malamang hindi kayo papayag na maging HR ako. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that that's clear. <laughs> I already know who we're arguing. Let's, let's take some calls here. 863 Good morning. Hello. 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 Hi. What's your name? Hi. Uh, I'm Joshua. 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 Morning. Joshua, you have to give us a crazy story, but you have to leave out the big twist or the big ending, and the, and the four of us are going to try to guess. So when you're ready, yeah. once upon a time, us baby. Yeah, so so this happened when I was working in Australia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, yun. Uh, this was my last day. So, babalik na ako ng Philippines. Mm. And then, what happened was, uh, in usual despedida, sabi nila, uh, mga despedida kami, ganun, we had dinner. And then, uh, going to the dinner, na-stop kami sa, sa tram. Di ba yun sa okay. Australia, may, may tram sila ro. Tapos, uh, yung car nag-breakdown. Tapos, uh, may paparating na tram. May paparating na tram? Oh, yeah. So, <gasps> same track. Same track. On the same yep. track. Yep. Hindi pati yung okay. crazy part. So, yun. Uh, nakasurvive naman kami. So, it oh, crashed into yun. your... <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wait, did it crash? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Okay, okay. okay. But remember, remember, you're supposed to leave out the twist, okay? Uh-huh. Like, the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. When you see Nick survive, it feels like you gave us the ending. So continue. So no, you no, guys, no, you're no, okay. No, there, there was a tram arriving and then? Uh, tapos yun. Naka, natapos na yun. Yung issue na yun. So tawa kami ng tawa. We went, uh, yun na yung next. Mm-hmm. Yung part. Na crazy part. So you're on your way to your despedida dinner in a tram. Uh-huh. It breaks down. May paparating na isa pang tram, but nothing happens. You guys are okay. Walang crash, nothing. Yep. And then yun yung next na crazy part. Na. So did you make it out of the tram? Kasi nga nasira siya. Hmm. Nasa kotse ata kayo, di ba? Nasa kotse ng nasa kotse ng kotse tama ba? Nasa kotse kayo. Uh, yes, nasa kotse kami nag-drive sa tram rail yung yung dedicated driver namin. Ay, stop kotse sa parang railes. Oh. Uh, Oh my God, that's not how I understood this. I know, me okay, either. I understood that there was another tram coming yeah. behind. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 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 Nag-ano na sila yung kotse dun sa may eksakto sa dadaan ng tram. Ah. Because that's not very Australia for that to happen. When, I, when you're Australia, I hear everybody's in this like freaking futuristic tram. <laughs> yung nangyari sa'yo, parang nasa Pilipinas ka lang. Okay, all right. So, you survived the train, what, but something crazy happened after that. All right. Who, who wants to go first? We have an entry from Gib, who's tuned okay. in. Gib, Gib, hey, Gib, hi, Gib. Love Gib. Gib says, they actually didn't survive and you're talking to a ghost. I hear dead people ang peg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is scary. I like it. If this was a nighttime show, I'm in. Go, Alex, go. Ako, ano, um, na-realize nyo na life is short. Muntik na kayo mamatay doon. May nangyari sa'yo na kasama mo. Na, na, kasi, dispedida. Doon kayo, ah, nas, papalapit, na yung, papalapit na yung ano, papalapit na yung, kami nag-stop siya, bilang sa inyo, ha, we survived, tapos bila ka nagsabi, as a guy, sabi mo, <laughs> di ba, may iksilang yung mundo, may iksilang yung buhay, so Check yun, in, hindi na yung napunta sa dispedida, tapos may nangyari sa inyo, nung girl okay. na kasam mo. Mag-check in tayo, where's the line? Okay, okay. alright. Alex, okay, well, hold on, we'll put you on hold, hold on, I don't, want, I, don't want to, I don't want him to spoil anything here. Alright, Kay, what happened in the story? The girl was driving, so she was an awesome driver. (laughs) 
and then the car <laughs> starts to fly out of the tram area and then nag drive through sila sa Amber's Peachy Peachy na magically was there because that is the official despedida food when you leave a company wow Peachy Peachy spaghetti and barbecue goodbye down under Sam <laughs> how does this story end? I am gonna say just because he said na para oh we survived we survived it we were laughing, but then once they move out of the way of the tram, a bus comes and hits them, and they actually do get injured <laughs> and never make it to the despedida. That is an amazing. Okay, that's a good one. I love that. Okay, um, I'm gonna say they get out of the vehicle. Okay, so they get out of the vehicle. It doesn't start. Something went wrong, and another tram was coming, and oh. eventually hits their vehicle. But they've already survived. They're out of the vehicle. They're laughing about uh. it. And it's kind of like a movie. They're outside of the car laughing. I can't believe that had just happened. Yeah. And then they get absolutely destroyed by another train. But, of course, they're not inside the vehicle. Okay, Joshua, what happened? How did your crazy story end? Okay, so the yung, uh, yung ending is that they were the wrong way on the tram, sir, Will. Kasi hahatid nila, hahatid nila ako sa strip club. So, what? Ah, yun yung surprise nila. That was, yes. um, wait, nila what? Club, I know. As despedida sa Australia. I'm sorry, what happened? <laughs> Kaya sila na wrong way sa track, kaya sila na ano, kasi hahatid kasi, sila sa atin uh, niya, sa atin siya sa strip club. Parang surprise sana sila. How is that related? Hindi, surprise dapat nila sa akin yung strip club. So ayaw nila ipakita agad yung strip club kasi may kita mo siya sa ano eh. Uh, oh, highway. the strip club was so in the horizon. It was in the distance, and so they wanted to go. They went, ended up going the wrong way, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't ruin the party, or it wouldn't ruin the surprise right. that you were going yeah. to a strip club. Uh, I have no idea how those things were connected. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How does your crazy story I'm suck? Was the name of that <laughs> segment. Thank you. Have a good Thank day. Thank you. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine. Remember, something yeah. crazy happened. Something crazy happened. Yeah. Why were you? Why'd you get lost? That whole tram thing though happened to my tita when she was I, living in Australia. She left the shopping cart in the middle of the tram and she got pagalitan and she just said, "No speak English, I." <laughs> <laughs> she got away with it. <laughs> Let's take our next call. Eight, six, three, no eight, nine, nine. How does your crazy story? Oh. Come on, guys! Crazy oh. stories. Crazy stories. Yes. I hope we're not on the air. I, there were I've the woman named Bob No Bad. <laughs> I was the manga, manga huba. Arte, arte mo. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. good morning. I was thinking about the crazy story. I was listening since last week. Okay, so here it goes. One week in hello? the making. Okay, yeah. go. Excited. Yeah. Okay, uh, this happened when I was used to work in the hotel industry uh, yeah. back in overseas. Okay, I had the, um, we had the wedding couple. Um, so they have like two nights. So normally one night lang sila nagsistay. So yung groom, uh, he decided to settle his bill in advance. Okay. So what my staff did, sinek out niya yung room. Okay. Eh, in, oh. in our system. So parang coincidentally, yung housekeeping, parang linis nila yung kwarto. So linagay nila dun sa system namin na malinis yung room. So that same staff, nag-check in siya ng bagong guest dun sa room na yon pero physically may tao pa dun sa room yeah yeah the married couple yes the married couple mm. so now may new Wait. guest with the key to that room alright so alright right. is this where we stop yes that's where we stop oh my god alright here we go now we're talking <sighs> they walk into the married couple having sex isn't that the... Uh, Alam mo si Ali Ching Malibog, hindi ikaw, Sam. No, it's, it's so obvious. obvious. <laughs> That's it's so, so stereotyping, Sam. That's so stereotyping. Hindi lahat ng married couple, hindi po kita kakak namin, mag-sex tayo. That's so stereotyping. Wow, ako pa yung stereotyping. I thought you were gonna stereotype... Nasyak ako sa babae. I thought you were gonna accuse Mo of stereotyping you. Okay? This anger is misdirected, Alex. Oh, it's not Si Alex yung bastos, not you. Oh, it's not? See? I don't know. To me, it's... Nasagot mo na yan. Baka tama yan. Oh, parang super go-to answer. But I don't know. Maybe he'll surprise us. But I had to okay, put that out right. there. Obviously. Sam, Sam took the low-hanging fruit answer, which was he. <laughs> they walked in having sex. Alex, Kirill, do you have something else? 
Ako, a- ako, yes, there were sex involved, pero nagulat sila dahil iba yung kasama. Iba yung kasama. Kasi kailangan kasama. Sa honeymoon, no? Okay. Nagulat sila dahil iba yung kasex nung either groom or bride. Kasi very obvious yun eh, yung sex yeah. part eh. Oh, it's okay, super okay. obvious. It was surprise. Surprise. It was Okay, I like that angle. Okay, what do you got? Anything different? Wala akong maisip eh. Kasi naisip ko. Oh, go, go, go. Big, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with something that he said in the story. Uh, he said like, the groom checked out. Yeah. Uh, no mention of the bride. Yeah. So That's where maybe, Alex is, might be warming up though. Uh-uh, yeah. So the bride is there in the room getting oh, it on with someone else. Don't. They no, walk and then in. remember he included in the story that it was two nights but usually was, uh, uh, married couples don't stay two uh, nights they stay one night right. so he threw in that little kind of leading detail some, some don't <laughs> analyze that tapos ang sagot mo ay kukunin mo lang sa akin part magbumukha ka smart kasi you did the analyze ako nagsumagot lang ako na walang ka ano ano tapos ngayon may pag ganun ganun ka pa come up with the same answer na gusto mo ngayon nakawin sa akin stop that that's so very it's so very the guys are Korean the guys are competitive when there is a reason to be competitive we're gonna be competitive okay so Kay anything? no? no I think I think you're I, done I, right? yeah I, I keep thinking kasi if this is in Singapore, then there's a lot of ampaw. So the person who was got left behind is just counting money. Mm-hmm. That's, what I'm think- that's what I'm thinking. And they're just in the bathtub. Yes, I got so much ampaw so or whatever saying. money. Yun lang. I'm going to go with, I, I mean, man, how can I not? It, they walk in on sex. But is it with a married couple? Yeah, who is it? Or, or as Alex said, which Sam elaborated on, <laughs> it wasn't the married couple. Okay, I'm going to say... Shoot, there was a threesome. It was the married couple with another person. Just, just to add a little bit of spice. Yeah. Yeah. Just to add a little bit of craziness to it. So All right, that's so- and then there was money. What do you, what do you- <laughs> yeah, and then money. <laughs> for set- that there there no for Kay. Just okay, it's a little bit right, isn't it? What? How did this crazy story end? Go. Okay, um, so, lumabas nga yung groom, so he paid the bill. Oh. So the bride, I think it's trying to surprise the groom with something. Oh! But the groom went out somewhere first. Hindi siya agad bumalik sa room. So, end up, yung new guest na may case, oh, pumasok. No! So, with the bride, hindi naman dinisail ng groom kung anong surprise niya, di ba? So, the groom ended up going down again, saying the story na super shocked yung wife na Ayaw na niyang lumabas sa room ever. Ever, ever. Ah, Saka ba yung wife, so, gano'n? Parang, di namin na east. Parang feeling up so, the story, yung nangyari, parang baka naked siya or naka-90s na hinihintay yung, yung husband niya. Then, itong guy yung pumasok. Well, he, he, uh, oh, Man, so, this the guy saw everything. Ah. I love it. So, and the first then, person to lay eyes on the wife naked was not actually her husband. This is, of course... If they were waiting. So, okay. Aww. No, I love it. I love the story. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye. Thank again, you. Bye. One tick tayo, ah. there, again, there's a naked, naked body. <laughs> <There's bone. laughs> uh, let's take our next call. One last one, and then we're out of here. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Uh, this is Joe. Joe, I'm going to put you on hold for a second, Joe. Uh, but don't go away. Uh, Kay, right. this story... Hey, you know the story of this uh, whole nudity in a hotel? This happened to me. And your mom was involved. Can oh, I tell the story? Oh my gosh. <laughs> she would be playing badminton right now, so she's not listening. But okay, I am right. afraid. So your mom and I went to South Africa. Oh, yeah. You know With the bellows. Yeah. You know. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, Kay's mom and I hanging out in South Africa together on safari. Just like the oh, yeah, Zia wildness there too. of Africa. I'm sorry, what? Zia was there too, no? Who? Zia, Who's my there? sister. Oh, your sister was there. That's right. Your sister was there and your mom was there. And it's the first time I met your sister and your this mom, of course, and I. It's getting worse now. My sister on, on, is there too. <laughs> yeah. She's very talented. And your, your mom and I have, of course, been together on ASAP for so many years. So obviously we know each other. So we're vacationing together in uh, South Africa. And apparently they're hotel staff does when they knock on the door 
Eh, di ba sa atin, even kahit sa abroad, US, Alex, you know this, and Sam, you know this being here, they will knock and they'll say housekeeping and then they'll give it five beats. Yeah. You know, yeah. for you. Yeah. 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 Over there in Africa, South Africa, they just open. Oh. Wala wala, 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 housekeeping. The wilderness. So, oh. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So they open first. No housekeeping or announcement or anything. And I am walking around but ass naked <laughs> without your mom. Without your mom. Just Thanks for clarifying. Your yeah, your mom wasn't there. I just only used that as a teaser because she was in another room. <laughs> it may have happened to her <laughs> too. It may have happened to her. Ay, tama! Ay, tama! Oh, I dapat na. Oh. Yes, bilang sayo mo pagkatok, what do you think happened? Ay, <laughs> sayang, sayang. Narinig mo sana yung pinakamagandang story sa akin. <laughs> Ayoko. Masyado na akong madami na pagdaan ng trauma sa buhay. Huwag na nating dagdagan. <laughs> With motives. Alright, let's get Joe back. Adon, adon nagsimula yung sulat ni, ng kanta ni Sasha na Hiram. <laughs> May isang umaga. <laughs> Tay taulag na nadadarat at natutok suri. Joe, thanks for holding. Are you there? Tamo. Tay taka. Oh yes, yes. I mean, my towel. And you know when you when you travel with with Vicky Bella, they don't give you small rooms. You want to like you you they don't give you small rooms. Vicky Bella doesn't put you in a small room where. Yung kama, tapos yung pinto is like, you know, 10 steps. The, <laughs> the, the, it is a gigantic suite. So if your towel is on one side of the room, your <laughs> ball's on the other side of the room. It is not something you can cover quickly and grab. What I mean, did you she say, puts though? you in the best place. What, what does a mo twister say at a situation like that? Do you say, just go pull or something? What do you say? <laughs> yeah, I, I just did the face. I mean, I probably looked like a bushman. <laughs> you know, kind of, you know, just skinny, brown, and ooh. discriminating, <laughs> nice <laughs> typing. open. open, <laughs> oh I just should have picked up like an arrow or so, just kind of a spear and just run, run, you know, jumped around. Okay. It was rough. Your mom, sure. no, hmm. your mom had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even tell her the story uh, uh, when we saw each knows. other for breakfast later that day. Sorry. Sorry. Let's take, uh, let's take Joe here and uh, get a crazy story. Joe, sorry. Hi. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. What country uh, was it first? This is South Africa. What? No, no, no. Uh, Joe. Joe. Uh oh, Joe. Okay, so go. go ahead, Joe. Hi. Um, uh, can I make a combination of um, crazy story and kwentong kadiri? Of course, you've come to the right <laughs> place. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, this is okay, this is a uh, this didn't happen to me, but it happened to my brother-in-law. Yeah. And, right, can you take um, us off the speaker uh, though? <laughs> because we really yeah, can't hear the story right. well if we're on AirPods or speaker or anything. Just put that put that phone right on your face and give us the highest quality as you can. Hold on. Uh, is this better? It is. Yes, thank you. Thank All right. You. If, if so, that was a girl, it would have um, taken six minutes. But, but hey. dude, listen, hey. just saying, I mean, he's driving, multitask, bam. Hello? Yeah. <clears throat> so this happened when he was undergoing his pre-employment requirements. And okay. back in the day, kung, kung tito ka, yung stool sample mo, hindi mo nilalagay sa plastic container. Si... Si Alex, alam to, nilalagay ito sa film canister, naalala mo yun? Oo, oh, yung Kodak. Oo, oh, tama. Yes. Oh, doon, doon yun. Kaso, pagpunong... Yung nalagyan ng film dati, ng isang black? roll, nilalagay mo doon ni Ebs. Yes. Oo. Hindi ka tumatay sa loob ng... Those things are so small. Hindi. Small nga, pagkakukunin mo mula, siyempre, kukuha ka ng small portion sa Ebs, tapos ililipat mo doon. It's like a you know, little spoon. You don't into it. Yes. What the hell? More animal than man. Okay, fine. Continue. <laughs> Eh, kaso, ang um, nangyayari dun is um, pagka you leave the stool sample there inside for a long time, sumasabog pala yun. Ooh? Because of all the methane. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, the methane, the methane gas. Here. And then right, it's a vacuum seal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then? So, ang ginawa ng brother-in-law ko, yung, yung stool sample niya, sobrang dami, napuno niya to the brim. Tapos, binalot niya ng, binalot niya ng masking tape. Uh, so many layers. Tapos nilagay niya yung pangalan niya. Halimbawa, Mohan Gumatay. 
para si Alex mas para talaga, ba, Alex, alam, alam ng lahat kung sino di ba gano ah, so pagdating niya dun sa office he arrived medyo malapit ang lunch time so pag park niya kumain muna siya kaso nga lang nabilad sa araw yung kotse so yung stool sample niya iniwan oh, niya dun oh, sa loob oh, oh, ng oh, park oh, Pahulaan ka ha, kung anong nangyari ha. Yes, yes, yeah, okay. Oh. So, yung stool sample niya, naiwan niya doon sa kotse, paglabas niya, hindi pa niya nabubuksan yung car, naaamoy na niya. Mm. <laughs> so, so, pagbukas niya ng car, nakita na nga niya na sumabog na yung yung stool sample. Joe? This so, is not even the crazy din. part? Iniwan tayo. This is not Joe? the crazy part. Okay. Hello? It's not yet the crazy part. Okay, wow. Wow. Joe, call us back. But maybe we can stop there and we can start guessing. Joe, call us back. Uh, if we, I gotta. Dis- you want him to call back? We can't hear you. Oh no, we lost you, Mo. What? Juan, stop talking. We can't hear you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm expert, Jen. Sa ano? Sa Okay, oh, there, he's back. He's back. He's back. Okay, you um, were no, gone. You, you were gone for like a like thirty seconds. Who me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. After so, you told Joe to call back, we couldn't hear you anymore. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. So who's going to go on this one? We already know the premise. We're assuming that the story ends here. That sumabog yung canister ng tae because he, he, he did say the, 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 the phrase na amoy niya while going to the car. So ah, we, 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 I know, we, I know, I know, I know. We have, that's where, that's, we're good enough there. Yeah. Okay. Yung pala. Joe, we can call back because we need the answer. Go out. Go yung okay. pala. Meron lang mga lalaking pumasok doon sa car. Nag-spray sila nung pangpaamoy na pupu kasi nag-me time sila sa car. 'Di ba? I feel like yeah, Elle is on the show, not hey, uh, for an answer like that. That is so your husband. That would be Mo and Alex just spraying it with you know how we have the poopery there. I don't know yeah. what yours is the poopery or something like that. They're just spraying it. All over the parking lot. Ay, salamat kay. Alam ko na naman pronunciation. Alam ko may letter T doon somewhere. Pupuri. Hindi pala siya pinapunan. Putpuri. 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 Thank you. Learned ko na rin na naman. Thank you for educating me. And Chopper also. Oh, or, that is the yeah, yeah, most uh, whole, unscathed. That is the unscathed. most unscathed. wholesome answer possible to this situation. Okay. Um, for the variety. Yes. yes. Ano kasama niya yung boss niya nung sasakay sila sa kotse. Oh no. This is good. This is good. So, so sabi ng dumap- so, sabi ng boss, "Hoy, daan mo naman ako sa office bago oh, kung pumunta sa whatever." And he said, "Oh, sige, sir." Or girlfriend, whatever. Basta may tao siyang papasok doon na hindi niya alam po ano. It's either sabay din nang na-discover or alam niya na tapos may problema siya ngayon kung paano gagawin doon saan. Uh-uh. All right. Damn. I'm gonna say yes. He goes to the car. The stool sample has exploded inside the car, so there's you know droplets of poop everywhere, and yeah. then the masking tape with his name on it conveniently yeah. gets stuck to the <laughs> windshield. <laughs> and because it's lunchtime, everyone is walking out and going to their you know <laughs> preferred <laughs> jolly <laughs> uh, There you go. And that is the reputation that sticks with him because he actually got the job. Okay, uh, so, unless, so... Unless boy siya, tinted yun at lowered na on the CV. You, you didn't actually say the actual word, Alex, right? We're on the radio. No, he, did, he, did not, he, did not. he can't. Okay, oh. anyway, here, here, here's mine. So, the deadline for the Ta'e sample is that day. And if he doesn't turn it in, he is not going to be eligible to get this job. So what he did out of desperation in the need to progress his career, the explosive tie in the car, he went back in there and started picking up portions of it to put back into the sample because he had to turn it in. The deadline was that day. So it was the recollecting of the... of the. It to recollect the tie because... I mean, it's careers on the line. You gotta do what you gotta wow, do. No. This is a practice for me, uh, guys. Uh, para, Joe, this is the... Joe, are you back? Let, let's just find out if this is Joe. Can we find out if this is Joe? Joe? Hey, it's me again. Yay! All right, Joe. Oh, nice. 
Okay, so did, did you hear all of the answers? I said he recollected it. He needed to submit it that day. Alex said that there's somebody that he promised to give a ride to. And then <laughs> Sam said he was identified by the masking tape. And force. Kareel said something like Mo and Alex were in the backseat uh, pleasuring themselves. What happened in no, this I crazy story? No, I didn't say that. I just <laughs> read it. Yung pinakamalapit yung kay Mo. Oh, okay. So, okay, so, so suma- finish the story. So, sumabog na sa loob ng car, di ba? So, oh. syempre, bad trip siya. Mag-isa siya dun sa parking lot. Nagmumura siya to, ano, to the highest heavens dahil dun sa nangyari. So, he was cleaning it up. Tapos, biglang binato niya dun sa isang drum. May nakita siyang drum kasi, di ba? So, dun ko na itatapon yung basura. Ganun, ganun. So, binato niya. And then, he walked away. Pag sa likod niya, when he walked away from the drum, na- narinig niya, nag-splash ng malakas yung tubig. Psh! Um, oh. Tapos yun pala, tubig yun ng radiator ng mga delivery truck. Eh, hindi niya pwedeng iiwan yung tayo doon kasi lumulutang yung pangalan niya, di ba? Oh. Uh, mukhang gumatay. <laughs> <laughs> so, kailangan niya linisin ulit Sam's yun, di ba? <laughs> I think Sam's closest It's a combination of yours oh. and mine. Oh. Yeah. monster yeah, siya it. kasi radioactive pa yun. Hinawakan niya <laughs> without <laughs> proper gloves, etc. Alam mo, kung ba't maganda yung, ano na yun, maganda yung story na yun, kasi nakontain mo na dapat sa kotse mo lang eh. Oh, oh. Tinapon mo pa para mag-involve ng iba. <laughs> That's what you get. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Salamat sa mga nag-breakfast. <laughs> Pero may one hour na expiration lang yung eh. Hindi mo pwedeng i-submit yun kasi there's, so totoo ha, one hour lang ang expiration. Hindi mo pwedeng magpasa ng one hour more. Ah, talaga? And they taught you this at AMA? Totoo. Hindi, <laughs> sinasabi sa men, hindi, sinasabi ng mga doctors yan. Pag magkasabit ka, di ba, may mga, kasama yan sa Joko, may mga namamahay. <laughs> Kaya minsan sila mapagsabit ng stool. Sabi na sa bahay pre. Pero sabi na pag sa bahay ka, kailangan within one hour, madala mo. You can, mababayadate nyo sa medrep. So, oh. one hour, hindi na pa pwede. I don't know kung mas mabaho pa after one hour. Di ba, expiration, di ba? Yung EBS mo, expiration. Na-inita. Ang social, di ba? Mm. <laughs> totoo yun, totoo yun, practice. Totoo yun, kahit mag 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 Kahit umano pa kayo, mag-message pa kayo sa mga med, med tech. No, Thank you. We're like, wow. now. Hey, unscathed and pot, pot, was it pupuri? Pupuri. Yes, uh, <laughs> pupuri. Okay, so, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have the remaining of hour number three. It's 8.07 here on this uh, Wednesday morning. You listen to Good Times, sure. Sam in studio with Kirill, Alex and I online. Back after this. Don't go away. Good Times with Mel and Sam O. Today's best music, Magic 89.9. Welcome to our third hour. It's 8.13 on Good Times, the morning show. Mo Twister, Alex Calieja, Kirill is here. I'm Samo. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for being here. Kirill, you were saying uh, yesterday that you were going to have a 10-year marriage vow renewal. Is that what that's called? Yeah. I think it's really just my way of bringing you to church. She did yes. say that too. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, we are fixing it. We're doing like a whole thing uh, where we have a mass. We did a, a pre-interview kind of a session and then we'll do dinner after. And maybe we'll do the arte arte dancing sometime near the actual date. So I'll invite you guys. Does he know that this is the motive for you to get him to go to church? Or are you oh, hiding? That was my question. Uh, I thought... He's the one who was bugging me about it. Like, are we going to have it in Tagaytay where we got married? So, yeah, he knows. He's the one, like, oh, what did father say? What did father say? So, you know, he's, he's cool Absolutely. about it. Yeah, he doesn't go to the meetings. He just, oh, just summarize it for me. What did father no, say? No, 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 no. Yeah. The, no, he, we did the, uh, what do you call it? Like, a session with father. And we even had, like, a whole classroom of people studying pre-marriage requirements. So, it was, he's cool about that. You know, it's kind of, you kind of, if you ever think about it, because... I mean, you're still really young, and I mean, you know, we're all we're also kind of really young. But if your wedding happened today, just how many people you've grown close with? Like, I didn't get an invite to your wedding. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, just we weren't very good at the invitations. Like, we yeah. super yeah. funny because yeah, we no, tried. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Invite- Alex, did you get an invite to the wedding? <laughs> Are you there? No. Well, no, you no. get an invite now. Sam, how say you? Uh, did you get an invite to this uh, uh, K wedding? Oh, yeah. I saw it on Instagram. No. no. Yeah, I, I saw it on Instagram. Like, pa <laughs> nag-host pa ako sa asal niyan. Pwede naman makalibre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, be, be, yeah, no. number one thought after host sa wedding. <laughs> but it was, yeah. ano, it was Susie and Gino. Ah! Yeah. They, they hosted the wedding. So they, they so got they one. Got but you're not on their show, no? No, no, no. no. <laughs> 
This is the part where I get kicked out. <laughs> no, but if you uh, uh, kind of joking aside, you've probably as a couple have made some really strong friendships as a couple, mm-hmm. right? The outside of the ones. But it just imagine how how much different does your guest list look ten years later? Well, now it's really family. So and Yael's band, and Yael's band is like a big band. So that's already we have forty people on the list. So we're trying to squeeze in some more people. So so this is gonna be like it's considerably going to be 200. It's going to be 200. smaller. Two hundred? No, it's really forty. Unless if people show up to the church, but it's a tiny chapel as well. Aww. So, but yeah, our of estimate is forty to two hundred. No. no, no. <laughs> Hey, you can send me an invite. I'm not going for okay, obvious perfect. reasons. Yeah. But just so it'll fulfill my kind of frustration of not being invited in the first one. Because I saw it on Instagram everywhere. It was we really didn't fun. do well okay. inviting the first time. Like, Kunare, um, just to name drop, Basti Artadi of Wolfgang. Mm. We DM'd him on Instagram, apparently. And of course, he didn't see that in time. And he's like, maybe if it's an important thing, call call next time or like a formal invitation as people do no we didn't do well with the invites uh, we announced a month before just because we were trying to be low key about it and we didn't want anything to happen you know when you just want, don't want to jinx Hold on, Kim, it I'm just, just going to make my DMs to see if there was there for 10 years ago because I got a lot of <laughs> <laughs> slipped into your DMs but I know I'm, I'm really excited about this and, and happy that you have uh, you guys have decided to do that. Uh, and the reason why I'm bringing that up because I want to ask this question to all the people out there who are in uh, marriages and maybe I, I'm going to say you don't do this, Kay, or you're not going to admit it. But anybody out there has a money secret that you're keeping from your spouse? Oh. Money, money specifically, a money mm. secret mm. that you're keeping from your spouse. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine is our phone number. I'm going to say every marriage has a money secret. Every, every single one. And I want to know how far it goes. So let's take some calls, and I want to ask Alex because when I say every, I really mean him. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Hello, good morning. Hey. Good morning, Mr. Anne. Hi, Kay. Hi. Hi. Master Alex. Hi, Sam Owen. Hi, Mo. Good morning. Hi. Hi. So, good morning. Uh, I've been married. Uh, this is Malcolm, by the way. Sorry. Malcolm, okay. Malcolm, okay, what's up? So, uh, I've been married with my wife uh, for the last six years, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, for the money secret, it's, it's really not a secret, but... Uh, parang sa sahod, uh, I give her uh, this this particular amount. Pero I'm saving also on my own. Mm, right. She knows that. Then pero yun di ko na siya sinasabi. Pero if there is a uh, parang extra, uh, uh, ano I I treat them. I have two kids, by the way. I treat them pero hindi ko talaga sinasabi kung magkano yung naiipon ko parang ganun so how big an amount are we putting aside here like like percentage of your salary yeah, percentage uh-uh. uh, about siguro mga 10 to 15 percent okay mm-hmm. okay oh, parang she pang- doesn't know that uh-uh. she doesn't know this pang rainy day uh-huh. ba to I don't know yeah. maybe she knows already pero I'm, I, I don't I don't tell her pero and, and, is this emergency funds? Oh, look how innocent uh, Alex. She said, is this emergency exactly. funds? Wait, what? No, I'm, I'm curious. Ang chicks to. my emergency no. fund. No, no. No, no. Pang emergency. Iba pa yun. Iba pa yun. Iba pa yun. May iba. Ibang, ibang fund. <laughs> ibang fund yan. Yeah. Say joke, joke. Kidding aside. Uh, not necessary for emergency kasi we have ano naman eh. Uh, parang emergency funds din uh, kami dalawa That's good. so iba pa yun talagang sa akin lang siya mm-hmm. Yari, may dito ko bilhin ah okay okay so yun and, 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 I'm into music din so I think uh, Sir Yael can understand gitara so, ba yan? bigla na lang may madadagdag dun sa pedal board ko tsaka mm-hmm. madali na mag-order ngayon ng pedals kasi ah yes so, tatanong okay. niya magkano yan? So, sasabihin ko na lang, ng second hand lang yan. Ah, uh, manamigay na. Wala na yung mga stickers nila, dispose na yung mga box. Ayun. 
Okay. okay. Right. Have a good day. Thanks, Thanks for the call. Bye. Appreciate Bye. you. Bye. Tell us a secret money that you're keeping from your partner. Kay, do you have one? No, but right before I bought a show, and it was a considerable amount. That like the last one? Yeah. So I was looking at my bank account, and I was like, oh, I made some money this month. Looking at my passbook because I'm old school like that. <laughs> and I, I mean, outside of my normal work, but I made some money. So I was happy. Cool. And then the call came, like, do you want to buy the show? Blah, blah, blah. And so minutes later, I tell him, uh, yeah, I bought a show. And I didn't really consult him, which is probably wrong. Because after he found out the amount, he's like, coach <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a secret for a good hour, no? But it's still wrong. Parang I should have talked to him muna. Oh, coach, eh. Hindi na naman yung coach, eh. Kung pwede ako bumili ng show. May mga bumili nga ng art sa art fair. Paintings left and right. Oh, art show. Yeah, yeah that was kind of wrong, no? Alex, is there something you're keeping money wise from your wife? Uh, at my age right now, hindi ako pwede magtago ng secret kasi uh, hindi mo so na what happened. Walang makakaalam nun. Sasayang naman yung pera niya pag tinago ko pa. So, lahat dapat niya sa edad na to ay alam ng lahat. Kasi, <laughs> hindi ako nagtatago. Um, Naka-online lahat. Hindi ako passbook online lahat. So, alam ng wife ko yung mga trabaho ko. So, alam niya yung pera. So, hindi ako nagtatago. Wow. Hmm. Hindi niya lang malaman kung saan. Naka-open, kaya lang hindi niya alam yung mag... Wala na. It's trust eh. Jo- know, joint account. Oh, wow. Lines wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> are full. 863 Tell us a money secret. May pyramid application yun. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Hey. Hi, good morning, guys. Hey, who's this? Hi, this is Jay. Jay. Jay, what's up? Yep. Uh, actually, I uh, know. Uh, for, for myself, uh, I think three fourths of my salary goes to the to the amortization, utilities, and payment, mm-hmm. and then uh, one eighth goes to the uh, no, trust fund, like. Uh, COL financial and big funds the MP2 right now hindi niya alam because I just created it <laughs> but in the future maybe wait what does it go to? it goes to MP2? the what? MP2 trust fund well, uh, investment fund stocks and uh, the other savings for pag ebit which is MP2 and as a modified yeah, pag ebit yeah. too yeah uh, other 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 pag ebit ano ano <laughs> Pag-ibig bond. <laughs> Tsaka modified na. Ah, Ilan taong ka na? Ilan taong ka na? Uh, 40. Malapit ka lang mamabae. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Don't curse him like na, that. Oh, yeah. Okay, huwag kayong makialam dito. Lalaki sa lalaki to. Alam mo, maglo kayo pag bata pa. Huwag pagkatapos. Huwag kayo. Pasensya na, masisira talaga yung napaka-idealistic. Malapit ka lang mamabae. Sinasabi ko sa sa'yo. Ignore him. Recently, Don't recently, listen to recently, him. Recently, Sorry. Recently, lang nagawa, recently, mo lang yan? recently, 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 uh, hi to Ryan Eigenman who's tuned in uh, hey, this morning Hello. who says no secret funds wow okay, Oh, oh, and, <laughs> and accounts and or ganyan pag married of course of course I would say 100% of marriages have a little secret money a little secret, secret money. yeah yeah hi hi hey hi is this so yeah um, this is gonna be the craziest one right here right? so secret one we're not yet married cause me naman dito yung same sex and then LDR kami so medyo hirap but secret funds yes definitely nice how much kind. why why yeah. and how much um siguro um almost half of my salary goes to the secret funds wow. kasi yung utilities share naman kami rent share din kami so Secret funds uh, goes to my luho, like Shopee, Lazada, <gasps> Half your Anything salary. Anything scandalous? 
Anything scandalous? Scandalous? Wala naman. Ewan ko lang sa part niya. <laughs> Kasi definitely <sighs> meron sa secret fund na hindi ko lang alam how much yung amount. But nag... Uh, nakikip talaga sa... Yeah. Napaka, napak, napaka nyo. <laughs> Is this dangerous, guys? Is this if, may secret fund kayo kasi assume nyo may secret fund yung partner. Kawawa naman yung partner na... Well, di ba? But teka lang, LDR to. So where is your uh, wife? Um, Works in... Uh, she's a chef. Works in El Nido Resort. Mm. Oh, okay, I was wondering. Because if it were abroad, her secret fund is also in foreign currency. So her secret fund is out secret funding yours. Uh-huh. But if she's in... Uh, <laughs> ano, hindi na alam na may time na malalaman na lang niya. Oh, I'm going out of the country with my friends. Sabi ko na sa kanya when. And then, oh, how did you pay for it? Oh, I have money naman. So, okay naman ako. Well, ano naman. <laughs> Meron naman akong pocket money. Pero pag gusto mo akong bigyan, why not? Oh my God! I, this sounds like the world's worst marriage. Uh, is this a, this is a terrible? This is a, <laughs> oh, my space lang sila. A lot of space. We're in our early thirties, kasi so gusto ko din siya mag enjoy. Gusto niya din ako mag enjoy, and then siguro din para hindi na ako malungkot. Mm. Thanks for the call. Oh, right. oh, look, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Honestly, just shopping. There are a lot of good deals oh. out there. So it's all shopping then. I know, but it's traveling. It's the answer. May pro- yung evidence ng shopping kasi, pat ka nagkakaroon ng gamit dun. <laughs> no, wala naman dati eh. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's the number one thing. That that diba? right there. That, that's Mabubuking secret. yan eh. Ang secret one, secret. dapat secret. Hindi mo dapat ginagamit. Hindi mo dapat ginagamit. Ginagamit uh, mo sa ibang bagay na hindi. Yeah, okay. you spend it on experiences, Alex, and not tangible items. <laughs> Kung halimbawa, secret fund mo, ginagasos mo sa isang bagay na tangible na makikita, hindi secret fund yon Tinatabi mo lang yung pera na alam niyang bibili mo naman something. Ang secret fund dapat, gagawin mo yun dahil may pagagamitan ka na hindi dapat malaman. Katulad na? I-define natin yun. Para yung mga tawag natin, mga callers natin, maging mas maganda yung kwento. Kasi, <laughs> di ba parang nag-secret fund ka tapos... You have lost yourself. Kailangan mong gasos ang sarili mo. Hindi mo dapat sinisikreto yun. Pero kaya ka magtatago ng pera kasi may gagawin ka na hindi dapat malaman. The, okay, the secret fund though, Alex, when it comes to shopping is also lying about the value of what you purchased. And then from there, she's going to look anyway online. That's when you lie with the, hindi, bilhin ko second hand eh. You just have to kind of compound the lie after <laughs> lie to be able to justify this purchase. Masyado pa nga ano yung safe man lie mo. We are celebrities, kaya pwedeng rega. Zero value nga. Ikaw, may value pang kalate. Kami, zero value. Oh, ito, binigay ito ng ano eh. Ano mo, binigay ito eh. Oh, regalo ito ni Karil. <laughs> regalo ito ni ganyan. Para wala talagang value yung pera. Yun ang matindi. Is it true for Tell us a secret, money secret you're keeping from your spouse. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, at tanong ko lang, okay, kasama ba ano, properties dito? Ah, secret. You're hiding oh. house? Oh. This is crazier. Yeah, properties. Uh, so, kinasal uh, kasal na kami for three years. Then, hindi niya alam na meron akong five properties na nakapagod. Why? Why are you hiding? Ano, lupa, bahay, condo, uh, ano to? Sige. For up ka ba? Uh, bali lahat yun, ka, real estate no? na isa sa Laguna, ah, uh, <coughs> Ano siya, beer land pa lang. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung apat, uh, bahay. Ooh, pero what? nakapangalan naman yan sa... Family? Nakapangalan sa akin pero sa parents ko at sa kapatid ko. I see. Oh, you should have gotten a prenup if this was Bakit the case. Bakit mo tinatago? Uh, kasi natakot ako sa mga past relationship na gold digger. Ah. Uh, so you'll surprise her with all the uh, this information when? Uh, yeah, that's uh, how many more years do you need before you who trust her uh, <laughs> Sa deathbed niya raw, sa deathbed niya. She can't be a, she can't be a gold digger if she doesn't know that gold exists though, right? Yeah, so did sorry, she pass sorry? the test already? Yeah, sorry, di naman sorry. ilam gold digger. Paano magiging gold digger? Di naman ilam may gold. No, I mean, yung, yung the thing is, nga niya daw. Uh, kapag nalaman nila na may generational wealth kami, eh, alam mo yung... <laughs> Generous, but a douchebag line. No, okay. So past relationships, no. you know, your your ex girlfriends were like this. Yeah. So now that you're married, mm-hmm. oh, so when are you gonna do the big reveal? 
to Sam. That's what I'm saying. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's what I'm saying. She's passed the test already because she can't married. be a gold digger. She doesn't even know that gold exists. Uh-huh. Oh, so when are you doing the big reveal? Uh, once I'm going to the board exam. When is that? Uh, this June. Uy, Kung, malapit na! Kung makapasa. Ano ba yan? No, sure na yan. Kasi sure na sure. Okay, my second time, I don't have any... Ano na, no more time. distractions. Yes. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Alright. Thank you, thank you. So, right. Alex? Is she a gold digger? Baka, ma, baka mamaya tatakbo sa politika yun ha. Hindi pwedeng secret-secret na ganyan. I, kailangan i-ano niya yun ha. I-declare niya sa asset. Ano niya. Uh-uh. Pero matindi yun ha. Limang apat na bahay. Wow. Kasi wow. technically sa kasal, pag kinasal ka Kanya at wala kang prenup, eh. conjugal yun eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pag naapangalan sa'yo, nang... Hindi ko alam kung anong ruling ha. Sana may lawyer. Kasi magiging conjugal yun. Yeah, everything is conjugal. Yeah. So, split down the ha- middle. Wow, that's a lot. Of, well, she'll be very happy. Hopefully. Or she'll be very mad na. <laughs> I don't know. She was would you be very happy? Would you be very mad? I don't know. Maybe the presentation would help. Like, surprise, I passed. And now you uh, have property some reveal land. Property reveal party. Property reveal party. <laughs> parang gender reveal. Yung property reveal party. But Ayaw. if... Nuhula. <laughs> but... If you set it up the way he set it up now, nah, I didn't really trust her. Uh, oh, yeah. Wag naman. Uh, Maybe. Can you say, binili ko yung bahay na to para sa'yo? Like, as a, I mean, if you presented no. that way, career like, that's magic. Uh, oh my God, look, I bought, he bought my husband, bought me a house. He bought me four houses. Right? Together with the, the new profession. Oh, God. Kalingan mo yung storytelling mo, ha? I know. Yes. Hindi ko naman sa sasya mag-board, eh. Kung ano yun, di ba? Eh, okay na kasi clue pa yun, eh. <laughs> Pag nahanap oh. ng asawa niya, parang baka trouble. Okay. okay, so final verdict though. You find out about it. Are you angry or are you happy? Uh, Do you happy with the generational wealth, as he said? <laughs> the generational you... wealth is a thing online kasi now, so I guess you pick it up. Initial, and... in, initial I would be mad. Kunyari, pero... You'd be mad? Okay, you'd be mad. I'd be no. mad because I, trust is a big thing for me. So if once you break it, it's just like, how do we get it back? And even if it's a positive thing because it's like money, you didn't trust me either, diba? With that secret. Three years into the oh, marriage. Been, but, but remember, Kate, remember why I was traumatized by my past. Couldn't you then have a soft spot and sympathize with said trauma and go, okay, yeah, all right, I get it, I get it. And it's, you know. Uh if he was working at it, then maybe, yeah. <laughs> I think I would pretend to be mad, but then I'd be super happy inside. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's on Earth. Pera! You can't trust me. It's me. So we'd have oh. to, you know, go at it for a bit. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it's like this. It's like this. Show me you trust me by putting my name on the deed. <laughs> Hindi lang mo, i-reverse natin ngayon. Yung babae, kunyari, ang may lihim sa akin. Oo. Oh. May lihim na. Ay, Alex, um, meron akong apat na properties na bahay. Tapos, <laughs> hindi ko sinabi sa'yo. Eh. Kunyari, mad ako, what? You don't trust me. Diba? Tapos, iinom ako sa aming mga kaibigan ko. Umiiyak ako ko. Umiiyak ako. Kunyari, natsaktan talaga ako. Oh. Kainom ako yung mga kaibigan ko. Kain mo, kainom mo. Bahis, ba't ka umiiyak? Ang, as, yung parang girlfriend ko, girlfriend ko for four years, sinabi niya sa akin na may apat na properties. Alam mo, gagaw, alam mo mangyari ito? May gagawin lang mga kaibigan ko. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> may sasampal sa akin. Alam mo, may sasampal. Naka-jackpot ka, pare. Naka-jackpot ka. <laughs> Pero linoko niya ako, linoko niya ako. Huwag mo nang pansinin yun. Huwag mo nang pansinin. Okay, okay, Alex, Alex. And then you used the line that Kay just used. Trust is a big deal for me. <laughs> Trust is a big deal for me. Mukha mo. <laughs> Sino ba itong mga barkada mong... Papakainin ka ba ng trust mo? Papakainin ka ba ng trust mo? Simpleng empleyado ka lang. Hindi mo kikitain niyang apat na bahay kahit mag-trust-trust ka. But you know what? This is one thing I learned sa K-drama. Mm. Na nashock talaga ako. Diba you, you said the word nakajakpat ka? In K dramas, that would be a big deal because you don't look at it that way. You want to be the equal of your partner. Parang so, they, you don't want to get their money. Parang may ganun sila. May, may isa hong drama na napanood. She was so upset that the guy was richer than her that she, they had to break up several times. And I was like, why? Hindi ba jackpot yung tawag dun? Because that's not. It's the K drama world. Yeah. Tatapatan ko na ng teleserya. Yung kakausapin ka ng magulang na may cheque. 
Uh-oh. Layuan mo oh. anak ko. Ito ang 5 million. Classic. Kukunin ko ang 5 million. <laughs> <laughs> Kukunin mo? Habang, sino, habang nag-remend ako ng broken heart, may me, mas magandang mas malungkot ng 5 million ng pera mo. Okay. Kaysa, and, 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 no, no, no. Sinabi natin, di ba, hapon, it is harder to be heartbroken when, you're when you have 5 million. Di ba? Pero, 5M pa lang yun, bibigay pa lang sa yun. Galing ka sa, galing ka sa hirap, magkaka 5M ka. Oh, but the love of your life. Ka, pero may 5 million ka. Ha? The love of your life will be gone. Inoffer nga ng mga namin niya ng 5 million. Oh, magalit siya sa magulang niya. Eight six three one three eight nine nine lines are full. What tell us a money secret that you're keeping from your partner, your husband, your wife, your spouse. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi, is this? Okay, sorry. Okay, this is Ooh. not a good connection. Hello? Congratulate po si Alex. Ang ganda ng script na nagawa niya kanina sa start ng topic na ito na alam lahat ng misis niya, lahat ng secrets niya. Congratulations, Alex. Okay. For the artistic, yeah. For the artistic. Makoy, your, your cell connection is horrible. We can barely hear you. <laughs> okay, call back, please. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hi. We can barely, barely hear you. Uh, next call. Money hi. secret you're keeping from your spouse. Good morning. Uh, mor- uh, morning. This is Raymond. Raymond. Yeah. Secret fund. Uh, like, for example, uh, last March, I think I got six months worth of my salary as a performance bonus. I only declared three months to my wife. Ooh. Okay. Why? Then uh, I edited uh, the payslip. Because there's a payslip. Wow, so I even went to the, the I even payslip. went to the part that I researched how much should be taxed. Then that's what I showed her. Okay, you're into you're into some shady ass here. Go ahead. That was for the mga secret purchases. Like I'm into guns, so I misdeclared the value of the guns I buy. Like, for example, a rifle it costs around mga three hundred twenty thousand. Ang alam niya mga thirty two thousand lang yon. <laughs> You took 90% off of yeah, the so price. Yeah, so yung mga barakada ko, niloloko ako sa minya. Pero pag namatay ka, sabihin namin sa asawa mo, yung mga binili mo, bili namin nung, dagdagdaga lang namin, yung 320,000, alam niya 32, bili namin ng 50, sabihin namin kumita pa siya 18. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's... Baka, sabi sa inyo, may hirap magsinungaling eh. So, okay, <laughs> why are you doing this? Uh-uh. Kasi she loves to travel. Eh, parang minsan, the, if I declare the money, the travel fund, Doon na pupunta lagi. Eh, syempre, you have to buy, I have to buy something then for myself. Eh, yeah, like guns. Travel is very expensive. So, I, I provide for the needs of my family, pero, syempre, I have to get some for myself as uh, well. So, you're matching lang the expenses. Parang gano'n. Yeah. This is a breakable offense. So, the last guy, uh, we'll put you on hold for a second, or, uh, hold on, put on hold for a second. This is one you get mad. Okay, Sam. Because, the other one was, okay, I've been burned in the past, blah, blah, blah. There's a little sad story there. It's generational wealth, meaning necessarily it's not mine. It might be passed down to me, etc. But with this guy, he is, he is over, like, to buy something that's 300,000 and to say it was only 30 is way beyond forgivable amounts of lying. Would you because- agree? I mean, and then and even... Now, he, he's never going to tell the wife the reason, but when he tells us, well, because my wife likes to travel, so I want to travel much more humbly, and I'm going to buy these ridiculous toys that I really don't need. You break up on with this guy, yes? I'm marinating, but I think the the part of the story where I find really disturbing is like how he edits the pay slip and researches the you know, correct lot, That's a lot of work for a lie. Parang it's a no... No, once you start lying, kasi para ang hirap na eh. it'll snowball. But but it's like the I do effort appreciate the resourcefulness. He, yeah. I, I do like kind of the acting involved, real character acting. They're really going the whole way on this one. I mean, I get it. Ang disturbing sa akin yung nagsabi si Samo na I marinate. Tapos na imagine ko talaga mayroon mga good si Samo. I see this often. I'm sorry, Sam. I have to share. Okay. Yung sabi, I'm marinating. Na imagine ko talaga si Samo na nasa bathtub with sauce and everything. I'm sorry, Sam. I have to really... I was taking the detail. Pero gusto niyo ba na makarinig ng medyo magkikay ako dito ng salita? Wow. 
bakit hindi ako nag ano, nag-hide ng financial sa wife ko? Natotoo talaga. Because remember, ngayon lang ako nagkapera and gusto ko magpa-impress. Ah, oh, there's some yabang in ko. Ako makapagtago pa lang pera kasi it will lessen pa yung value na imbis na pinapakita ko na mula nung nagkakilala kami wala akong pera eh. Oh. Si Romani ako eh. Siguro ang kung middle income ako magtatago ako ng pera <laughs> pero gusto kong pakita na oh ito na ako. Uh-uh, Kapag uh-uh. nagtago ako ng konti baka hindi ko na ma-maximize yung pag-impress ko right. sa people. I rather be more para kitang kita niya na oh ito na yung sinugal mong pe- pinagsugalan mong lalaki dati na walang pera mm-hmm. now I have para na we can di ba so yun talagang a reason but she's also that. making the assumption that you're hiding 30% of something out there also though see, alam niya ay alam niya talaga kasi yung uh, ano eh um eh, naging practice ko talaga na nangingi ako ng allowance hanggang ah, ngayon maglalagay so siya ng pera sa akin so ayun yung gagastusin ko sa naging ano <gasps> totoo to kung ayun kasi medyo ang image ko nga pero remember galing ako sa walang ano tapos nag nung nagsusugal nga ako alam niya yung kaya nga natigil ko dahil alam niya yung amounts na wawala ng pera. Ah, ang na, dapat ba pa lang may at may attitude na ako nagtatago. Mm-mm. Pero gusto kong ma-impress eh. Ito ang ano ko. Siguro sa ana, may certain limit talaga pag dumating na yung pera doon sa ana, sa ana ang magtatago kasi too much na. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we, we won't applaud you too much. Kasi open ako dun sa tumawag na ang ganda ng script ko eh. Huh? You don't know me. I like how don't you are by this persona. Oh yeah. You don't know after we turn up this show. We don't know me. Ay narinig din ato. My persona. Okay, got it. Like it. But don't we won't applaud me. you too much kasi baka maano ka naman na ay ayoko na ato nang bu- baka naburingan na sila sa akin. Uh, sakto lang. Sakto ka lang. <laughs> One last call. One last call. Let's get out of here. Uh, tell us a money secret that you're keeping from your spouse. Good morning. Hi. Yes, hello. Good morning. Morning. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> yeah. My name is Joshua. Uh, sure. Well, that's a lie. Yes, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, Yeah, I'm 50. Okay. And um, I've been married for 25 years. Right. And Good job. Oh, kasi lang natatago ko. I cannot uh, have any secret account. Cash lang ang natatago mo. No account. Yeah, where, so, are okay. Okay. where are you getting the seeing, cash though? Yeah, sa bawat singit ng kotse ko, merong nakatago. Sa office, may nakatago. <laughs> sa ilalim <laughs> ng mga tanto sa bahay, may nakatago. Wow. So parang ganun. And at, at times, nakakalimutan ko sa nakatago. <laughs> Yun ang delikado doon. Yeah. Animals do this. So, hey, wha- how much do you think? Because I know you don't know the amount, right? How yeah, much do you um, think is it, it, somewhere in the at, universe? At one time, it reached like 150,000. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's for yes. personal security. And and when I was younger, yes, it's for that malicious intention. But Ooh. I think that never now. came. <laughs> Doesn't your wife... 150 is bagay na bagay sa beer house. Pang pera <laughs> doesn't, talaga bagay. 150 your... is not security. It's for beer house, promise. It's really? for... That's yes, how much you spend in a beer house? Yes. Yes. So that's a beer, beer house fund. Ah. Yeah. Oh, beer house. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't your uh, wife find I mean, the money too? It, if you just like randomly find money around the house? Um, There was one time... But um, I just denied it. <laughs> Why? The money just got there <laughs> like out of thin air. Yes, like, it, it was like uh, 3000 under Yeah, no, I, 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 can see, I, can see, I can see where you get away with this because he, he kind of enumerated how many places he hides it in. So you just don't put big amounts. It's like say you had 1000 he has 150 hiding spots. So... <laughs> just, just I, that, what, the 150 is not in one place. I know, oh, that's my point. Yeah. That's kind of the genius oh, wow. behind all of this. <laughs> yes, in, the, in my car, basically in my car, because um, she never really... Um, that's beer. Hindi siya that's nangyayal sa kotse ko. Sa Astre, <laughs> you know, sa, sa mga... Ang tawag dito, manual ng kotse, nakasingit, so nandun. That's beer. <laughs> it almost sounds like a game. Like, you know, yeah. like... Yeah, you know, it's treasure hunt. Hunt. <laughs> It's just money coming out of places that you open up Your holes. Ears. <laughs> yeah, and then Your at times ears. when, you know, she would, uh, we would need money, I would say I would borrow from my, you know, colleagues, from my 
and and <laughs> give it to her. <laughs> what? Uh, that's oh. lying. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is kind of scary. Oh, oh, thanks for the call. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it's cute, it's cute right? But <clears throat> if 150 is his max, let's do a little math here. If 150 was the max, he was able to put away. But yet he tells the end of the story, which is, well, sometimes when we really need money, I can just pretend I'm borrowing. So yeah, if your that's... high end is 150 and you're having to borrow, quote unquote, for amounts that you don't have, I just feel like that's not a, you're not making enough money to lie. Exactly. <laughs> I like the <laughs> judgment. <laughs> See, boys are judgier right there. Oh no, yeah, we Fact. did a topic where we were we proved that men are judgier because all our callers were men. Um, but what's this? Yeah, I was thinking the whole time like, oh, this is so harmless. But then that last bit about yeah. borrowing money from other people oh, is like, what? Lang, what is going on? Naalisan mo lang, naalisan mo ng pera yung family mo para mangutang na na may tinatago ang 150. Oh, oh. Yeah. And, and, and again, we don't want to sit here sounding richy rich, but 150 is not much. If that's your maximum amount of hiding money and then you have to actually dip into this fake, you know, uh-huh. shark account that you don't even really have for to get bills paid or to do that. Uh, I don't like this whole. It's odd. It's just odd. Yeah, because making somebody feel like they need to go into debt, the bar, or I mean, well, that's embarrassing as it is. Mm. So if yeah. you have to create or fake that whole situation, papa, for additional stress, right, oh, right. It kind of goes back to what Alex was talking about, where you want to show your wife that you've made it. This is kind of has a negative backward effect, K. Right? I mean, you were just kind of saying it's it's embarrassing, where you're like, hey, we need. For example, twenty k. Bakit? Because we bill, blah blah blah. We didn't really expect. Uh-oh. So we make him hold twenty k. Kahiya, stress pa yon. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You're not making enough money to to behave this way. Mahirap yun na. Ah. Yung ano? That's bad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so effective. Is that AI? I think you're an AI. Is that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ang bilis ng sagot ni Samu. Hindi nga siya nag-marinate ito. <laughs> Gagamitin kayo, natutunan ko. Let me marinate on that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay talaga. Gagamitin ko na lagi. Oo, oh, oh, kasi yung ibang tao. Hindi ko alam yung sagot. Padalos-dalos eh. Kasi hindi mo alam yung sagot, pwede yun eh. Uh-uh. Na parang oh, nag-iisip ka lang ng ta- na ano. Pero let me marinate on that. Uh-huh. Ang, ang, ano, ang intelligent ng answer na yun. <laughs> I do <laughs> like Hayes. I do like Hayes here ito. A little bit more where when we think you're lying instead of calling you a liar she just said are you an AI? It's so emotionally um, intelligent. Yeah. Okay. I'm very very ano, hindi ko alam kung natuwa naman ako ako raw sa host natin ako raw yung bosses AM. <laughs> that's my point. Ako raw yung DC double B. No, ilang layer ka offense ang gina- offensive na pagkaka sabi niya Okay, oh, gagawin. Nag- well, nabasa ko. Nagbasa. Kasi nga, nagkamali sila ng, oh, ng caption. Di ba kayo nagsamali sila ng caption sa atin? I'm so concerned like that. I'm so... Pag tingin ko, siya, hindi ba kayo size kayo dyan? Boses, di, di si double B siya. Sabi ko, I, exactly ba't nandun ako? To give balance. Boses AM. <laughs> boses ng kahirapan. Boses. Alam niya, boses ng, hindi niya alam na ako yung boses ng kahirapan. Di ba? <laughs> Si Kay talaga magpabalansi sa akin. Pero mo si Kay, nag- para sa akin, really, We really need to put that line in some promo material uh, for this show. I love it. Oh, that's so good. Okay, wait, listen, we are at, ooh, let's see, 8.48 time. What do you think? Are we going to go the whole way here or should we take a break and catch up? Whole way? Like, what, wrap it up like just, just, Yeah, let's just so maybe talk for a little bit more and then, uh, you know, yeah, well, let's, just, let's just talk a little bit more yeah, yeah, and yeah. then we'll just kind of end it there because we have about 10 minutes left, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, anyway. Well, listen, how about speaking speaking of money? Ano naman mo? Ang ganda ng dialogue ni Mo, no? Parang dialogue, pwede mong gamitin sa ibang sitwasyon. Like, for example, you're you're in bed with, ano, with a girl, di ba? Yeah, ano? You wanna go all the way or <laughs> gonna usap na lang tayo until... <laughs> Maubos tong 3 hours dito. <laughs> Good morning, Nico Ramos. Uh, it's Hi, Alex. son. So funny. So funny. Uh, bosses double B. So, um, coming from my bosses na elite. elite. Thank you. Oh. Elite of the elite. Uh, by the way, tomorrow, no Kirill. 
no Alex, and no me. It's just going to be, uh, I think, yeah, uh, Sam and Tina tomorrow you for punks. you guys. Come on. Wala kayong boses ng DC Double B. Ano kayo ngayon? <laughs> <laughs> here's, my, here's my question regarding money. Okay. Uh, we, we talk about money a lot, actually, I mean, since yesterday. But maybe it's just the thing we're on right now. But when we were younger, and we all can kind of be, we could probably all say we're in the same generation. Yes, even you, Alex. Uh, what, what, what did the rich kids have that we didn't when we were younger? Versus what do the rich kids have now that the kids, like middle class poor kids don't have? When we were, when we were younger, what did the rich kids have, Alex? Ako natatanda ko sa akin, um, box type na box type na Mitsubishi in box type pag may box type na, na with naka, speakers naka, in the ano, back yun ang mga rich kid kasi ngayon kailangan mag Porsche para talagang alam mong rich kid eh. di dati yung box type na naka set up na Lancer. lower ba- box type Lancer, Lancer. Lancer. Oh, box type Lancer dun sa tapos mag, ang, ang gimmick nila dun sa may Corinthian yung nag-racing sila tapos pag wala kang invite dun hindi ka rich tayo saka Annapolis they would ano, they, ha- they would oh, have the big Annapolis. speakers in the back seat cause that's where we live mm-hmm. sa kanal <laughs> Doon sa Mika. <laughs> Saan na sa may Vira Mall? Mag, mag, even the you pronounce canal it's not really hindi mo alam yung canal boy. Canal, yeah. Don't go there. Here's here's a good answer from Ryan Eigenman on uh, Vibro, right? And this was a very Nico Ramos answer. So it's kind of I love how we have married these classic Nico stories cuz he's listening with Ryan's answer. Coleman. And if you recall Sam from way back, uh, Nico had a very classic scene oh. where he was being bullied. He was being bullied in school, oh. and at some point he couldn't take it anymore. So he did the very classic BSC line that many of you understand. Nico grabbed this Coleman of the other kid and hit him with it, and he said, oh. Coleman mo. Bam! <laughs> and it was one of Nico's most violent moments, and of course, more prouder times in life. Ang counter niya yung aquaplast na eh. Yung aqua, ayun na ngayon ng ano ngayon, yung symbol ngayon ng ano. Yung, ah, ayan, Nabag, no? Nabawal sa ano, sa sa mga hotel sa Vegas, like, I get, I wasn't allowed to bring it to the pool. What? Yeah, I guess cause, cause it's a weapon. Aqua? If you think yeah, about it. Yeah, it could be a weapon. Clean canteen. Yeah. Kung meron nang pamayapan sa school, pang bata, pag may, ano, pag may pencil case yung Nap- classmate ano. mo na. Yung mga compartments, mga ganyan. Yes, when we were younger, Trapper it was keeper. the pencil case. Trapper Keeper, Trapper Keeper, Combo. Uh, uh, right, the Racer. Trapper Keeper and Ghostbuster Slime. Let's take our first call. 863-1899 is the phone number. What do the rich kids have? What, well, when we were young, Who what did the, only the rich kids have? Good morning. Hi, Martin here. Hi, hi, Bo. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember during college, when I was in the college, yung classmate ko naka CRB agad tapos ako nag, nagbabas lang so parang mayari kasi ng bus line so <laughs> wow <laughs> that's like my ama story where imagine, uh, where imagine na ano siya uh, uh, BSBA major in human resource tapos yeah. pag, pag pumapasok naka CRB pag uwi CRB din tapos kami bus lang anak ko nag jeep lang kami tapos tinitin na lang namin siya so yun ito <laughs> is there no bigger shame than going to a rich kid school but having to jeep it like that uh, I would rather just yeah. lower my school class <laughs> and use the box type you know, than go to a rich kid school <laughs> and go via jeep I didn't hey, commute to school but well, I had well, no well, my, 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 my parents want bigger things for me so <laughs> yeah. yeah I get it I get it but I, I honestly I probably would pick mid-range to lower range school and actually drive then jeep to uh, La Salle no. thanks for the call thank you okay you were saying okay 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 tuloy mo muna kayo ah kasi ako wala naman akong kotse going to school nag carpool ako and yun I never had to commute because carpool was I think back then so with my high school classmates and from any random man that you know, was talking to me at the time. So I, I quickly found out, well, just last month, na hindi pala yun okay. That you're just there was with not everybody. one single girl in Poveda, K, that commuted to school. I, no, the I, poorest thing you can do when you went to Poveda was to carpool. That's carpool. the poorest thing. Yeah, I carpooled a lot. No, I had a yeah, I did, I did that's, service that's for one saying. year. No, but I'm saying that's the bottom of the barrel. Okay, you went to Poveda. There is no commuting when you go to Poveda. No, no, no. Carpool ang pinakamahirap na mode of transportation. Yeah. Or makisabay. You're crying, you're crying sa carpool. Like, mom, carpool, mom. 
No, actually, my uh, carpool was so sweet. It came with like a a burger pa and a drink. The best. Uh, right? That was sweet. Okay, so in, okay, in 2024, can a girl from Poveda grab to school? Ah, I don't know. Or is that, that shame? Oh, maybe normal. I don't know. We should yeah, ask. I feel like I know. Uh-uh. I think I know. Um, sa cell phone mo pag may grab up ka, ko questioning ka na kagad nila. Wow. Ano ko, grab wow. Naman. wow. Kaninong kaninong cell phone to with a grab up? Na pa isip ako don. Kasi mo, kung babalik tayo sa school mo na nagjeep ka, nalalaman na tagalasal yan na nagjeep ka. Kasi amoy nalakotse, ikaw amoy ano ka, yung amoy uso. Ah, ng- so what? You're studying. Yeah, right. It's part of campus life. No, but this huh? is true. This is true, man. I mean, I went I went to Lasa. There's a shame getting off a jeep, getting into the TLC. bus. Uh-uh. Oh, kasi mo, why were you upset last night? Uh, yesterday. <laughs> Mom, nag, uh, ano po, nag po yung mga jeep eh. <laughs> 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 ikaw lang absent kasi ikaw apektado ng strike. Yeah, yeah. LaSalle didn't have any, uh, classes are canceled because there's a jeepney strike. Uh, but there is no shame happen. in public transport, especially in other countries where it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, it, that's why it should be better. So so that there would be no shame in it. But there should be no shame <laughs> in it at all. Hindi <laughs> maniniwala sa yung teacher mo. Hindi maniniwala sa yung teacher mo. Ba't ka absent ka po? Ma'am, may jeepney strike. LaSalle to, iyo. <laughs> We don't have. <laughs> it's part of the it's part of the handbook. Turn to page thirty-four. No discrimination allowed. Siguro na I sa just school. Told you, we're just. <laughs> Nico says Crayola sixty-four piece crayon Crayola crayons. Sobrang flex. Hundred twenty-eight. Hundred twenty-eight <laughs> with and you know, with pantasa. Ah. That's, that's the, the requirement was only eight. And then you hit them with a 64 piece. Grabe yun. Baller. Babalik tayo doon dahil sa babae yun. Dahil sa babae yun. Sa mga brown. Color. <laughs> sa mga brown. <laughs> sa mga brown na sumasabog. Colors that don't even exist. Colors that don't even exist inside. It's not even 64. Nanay ko, nanay ko, pag nabali ko, mga nabali yung turquoise. Turquoise. Hindi mo ako pronounce it. Uh, lines yeah. are full 8631 for 899 we only have 3 minutes natin ibang color kailangan mo ng violet experiment ka kung mag para makuha mo yung violet that's a portion morning hi <laughs> ikaw yung huling mag-submit ng project kasi nagko-combine ka ng mga colors it's 3 times as long good morning yeah, so I came from the same school as Ariel. Hi, uh, And during Hi. high time, um, is this? I <laughs> felt inferior when my other classmates had the newer version of their cell phone, or they have their own cell phone. Oh. And I had to borrow my mom's phone that came with a bag and a wire. Came with a bag? Yeah, naabutan ko rin yun. Oh, Motorola yeah. yun, Motorola. Or the, or the really big ones. No? Yeah, the one that looks like a refrigerator. Yeah. yeah. So I had to go to the to the CR and um, call my mom from there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Not not the end of the world. You have to tell us what year this is, though, because I mean, this, if you're talking circa ninety three, ninety four, we're okay. We're okay. Ninety six, ninety seven, maybe we're okay. Two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand two. Then yes, please just throw that thing away. So, <laughs> what year is this? Around before 2000. Dude, okay. you're fine, man. Oh my God, you're fine. You know, the school, banana phone. As or? I said, everyone had so, their own um, phones, and also another one, Lisa Frank. Oh, the colorful what was that notebooks. Again? The parang Books. psychedelic notebooks. Yeah, oh, pink purple. Wala na, 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 na tayo sa topic na yun. It's very pobeda na. It's very pobeda. Wo ba yun? Wo ba yung mga listeners natin? Hindi. Na well, meron din naman tayo artista notebook, de ba? <laughs> thank you so much for calling. Muchas thank gracias. You. Thank you. Bye. I love that when the rich person struggle gets on the air. You know, when <laughs> my phone was obsolete. My phone was in Pro Max. Mommy got the Pro Max. Just sit there and you get so upset. 
Oh, it's so good. <laughs> one more, Sam? Where are we at? We're one sure. minute out. Let's do uh, one more and then we got to get out of here, guys. One more, we're out of here. Okay, let's go. Um, things only rich kids had when you were younger. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Oh, sorry. What's your name? Ina. 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 What's up? Hi. I remember when I was a kid. Um, well, studying ko sana yung sa crayons eh. Kasi I remember eat lang palagi yung meron ako. Pero yung classmate ko na mayaman, meron siyang 64 and parang may double layer pa. Ah, mm. Meron Karan din yung yeah. parang may lalagyan na parang suitcase. Oh, yes. I was like a little... Oh, oh suitcase. Tapos, eat lang yung akin. Pero sabi na kanina, so, iniisip ko, yung glue, sobrang petty. Kasi before, parang Elmer's glue, super, super, super mahal niya. Yeah. And then yung glue ko is yung nabili lang, no, nabili ko yung lang sa si Divisoria. Yung Lugaw. Yung lang brand. Yours is Lugaw. Yung right? Right? It's sorry. Parang yeah, glue space yeah. siya. Uh-oh. <laughs> So, Awa kanin so, lang eh. Awa kanin <laughs> lang eh. Hindi alam kami manood ko eh. Yeah, tapos nung dumating pa yung glitters na Elmer's oh, yeah. glue, oh. super yaman na yun. Super oh, yaman may razor ka, ka, pag may razor ka, mayaman ka kami. Ang ginagawa namin, linalawain namin Lawai. yung papel hanggang mga oh, abutas. Meron pa siya yung watchable oh. glue. So iba-ibang klase sa, mm. tapos parang ako, yung glue ko pa din yung nandun sa Divisoria. <laughs> Okay. Na to ay Elmer's, na to ay Elmer's glue kasi pinapatuyo mo sa daliri mo 'yon. Tapos, mm-hmm. 'di ba? Tapos lilinisin mo 'yung daliri. Yeah, you would feel it. Okay, thanks for the call. I have a good day. Bye. Kusa na si Elmer. Yung maman din 'yon eh. Oh, oh. 'Di ba napaka-generic ng name niya, Elmer? Elmer's glue. Pero class pa la 'yan, no? Class na class. Hindi mo pa mamalaki 'to. We're the owner of Elmer's glue. Dude? Why? Anong proof mo? I'm my dad is Elmer. Oh. Pero mo 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 bago tayo mag-end. Mag-end na ba tayo? Go. Your ending. It's we're 2 minutes over time. Why? Oh, but let's promote. Yeah, Alex. And Alex, well, let's start with you Alex. Where where can people see you live? I know you got a bunch of shows. You've been, you know, promoting it. They're selling out like crazy. So let's go. Wow. Or this week March 8, nasa Meet and Deli ako sa Rockwell Grove Pasig doon sa restaurant Meet and Deli on may stand up kami doon. So please please watch and March uh, March 9th sa 19th East. And again, meron ng bagong day sa Singapore na sold out yung March 26. So, we open the March 25. So, pwede pa yung bumili ng tickets sa Singapore. March 25 and 26 na. See yeah, you! Yeah, dip into you know, your feel, secret I, I really, fund. I, I really feel like I want to go to that Singapore show really? because, again, you know, this is going to be stacked with the GTWM uh, listeners. It might be a nice, really great I'm going to be in Singapore at that time. Wait, let me check. Sorry. Yeah, I think I'll be yeah. there. Give me a ticket. Free ticket. Yeah, you, well, he didn't get the invite to the wedding, but maybe he'll give you a ticket to night number two. Uh, okay, so definitely with that. No, but Kate, real quick, I just want to make sure I bring this up. I saw some excerpts of your podcast. It looks so crisp and clean oh, and professional yeah, and just yeah. amazing. I mean, really. I mean, I've been in the podcast gig a long time. It is hard to it find shows hard. that are as produced as well as yours. In fact, again, I mean, so sorry to overshout out Nico here. His podcast is so crisp and clean, looks great. Yours is amazing. Wow, visually. salamat from the king of podcasts. Mm. Thank you so National much. National artist for podcast though, yes. <laughs> oh, running for. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. So K's Drama is the name of the podcast though? Yes, People can get it where? Just Apple Podcasts, it. Nasha, and then Spotify and Sonder. Um, fa- uh, Instagram and Facebook. So yeah, case drama. Check it out. Double B. This is double B. Ata, di ba? This is double B. Ata. Air natin yan. I think pwede no. Pwede naman. They they would enjoy it. There is a lot of insight and fun times over there. Tapos po ng programa natin dito sa pagkatin ng balita po. Eto sila na po ang case drama. Abang po natin, ma kapuso. I am so tired. I am exhausted. Can we do a music show tomorrow? Please. But, I, but really, honestly, as, as we're running out of time here, Kay, thanks for joining Thank us here you. in your first week on uh, the show. You've been incredible. Thank um, you. I know you look at it as an audition, but I am telling you, these past two days, all I've heard was just amazing, amazing things about Ooh. really the four of us being together and chatting it up, uh, talking about all of these kind of 
sometimes just reminisce and sometimes it's stupid, but it's all fun and uh, good radio. So thanks. You've been amazing. We'll see you next week. Alex as well, of nice course. Job. Nice job, Alex. Nice job also. Queen Alex, Alex, just to let you know, you are not in the stinger. I don't think you passed oh, yet. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Hey, cake, don't say that. Come on. Don't say that. Alam mo kung ba di niya alam? Kasi nga late siya. Nek-nek, pakilagay yung parang alam niya. Okay. Boss station nga, elite siya. The reason, the reason why he's not on the sound effects and all of that, okay, is because he's auditioning. Okay, yeah. you, we already know Galingan you're Galingan mo. Alex is... <laughs> But next week, Alex's name will be there as well. Ako sa morning, hindi, ako sa morning pag-isip ko, hindi ko alam sure kung pupunta pa ako. That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. That's it right there. It's still the same. It's still the same. I'm going to show up. But, uh... Kasi stinger ako, may pressure ako, oh my God, nasabi yung pangalan ko. Put on the stinger. It's official. It's official. Don't treat less like a relationship. May ano to, may commitment. May label. May stinger. Hey, mas so, gusto ko wala ako sa stinger. Gusto ko na, bakit ako maliit? Wala, nasa stinger ba ako? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys. Well, at least the four of us uh, as a group next week. But Sam will be here tomorrow. I am. Uh, I will be in uh, Toronto tomorrow. So I won't be able to uh, join you guys. But definitely here on Monday morning and throughout the entire week. So um, don't forget... Uh, yeah, no, Sam's still here tomorrow, so make sure to check her out. In the meantime, hang around on uh, Magic 89.9. Check out, you know, Kay's podcast. Alex has got one, too. We're all together as well on uh, GTWM, so we'd appreciate if you looked that up on Spotify. And uh, you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Magic 89.9's good times in the morning. Let's play. Choose a water that helps give the right hydration and the right minerals with proper diet and exercise. Choose the drinking water of choice by top Filipino athletes, Heidelin, Egypt, and Filipinas. Choose to be greater with Summit Natural Drinking Water. Thirst for more. Summit Natural Drinking Water. Thirst for more. A new chapter in the history of building and design industry will unfold. Join us as Rolex 2024 continues the 